Hey guys, what is up? What is going on? It is time for some Legendary Axe. I have long wanted to play this game ever since I was a kid, but I never got an opportunity to do so. I never got a chance because it's on Turbo Graphics, and I did not have one of those as a kid. It looked really nice. It looks like my kind of game. I've heard it's really hard. I've heard it's uh, not even close to easy. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun for me. I'm looking forward to this one. I've been looking forward to it for quite some time. So we'll see if it's good or not. I might end up hating it. I might end up loving it. That's one of the fun things about doing a completely blind playthrough. And it's also Saturday. I hope everyone's having an awesome Saturday. There is no work to be done today. Just a nice chill day. Welcome in Coffee, Celestial, Spade, Culup, Vanessa, Vanilla, Make Rob, Plabu, Deathmerk, Jax. Oh, who else is here? Who else is here? J Dog, Zero Sign, Dre, Zooey, Make Rob, Caleb. How's everybody doing on this fine day? I cannot wait to play this. Plabu! Legendary axe. I wonder if there's an actually an axe in the game. Yeah, the character actually uses an axe. It's actually accurate. How about that? Fang, what's up, man? How you doing today? JWK, welcome in. No life, what's going on? You're working today. That sucks. But you did get a PB in Cubert, did you not? Not last night. You were playing something else last night. You were playing Tetris, but I heard you got a a, a, a PB in Cubert after I went to bed the other night. I heard about that. <laughs> I keep up with what's going on. Yes, sir. Dude, that's insane. You got to get that far in a game that ridiculous. No life. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. 7-1. That's what I was thinking. That is just absolutely crazy how hard that is. I had Qbert on Atari, and I was terrible at it. I couldn't figure out the controls as a kid. And I really never really played it again. But damn, got to get to 9-4. Dragon, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. How you doing today, JWK? Mr. Pill, what's going on? Yeah, I'm wearing a Batman shirt. I hope it's going to help. Probably not. Proto, what's going on? There's another stream I missed because I had to go to bed last night. It was Proto, and I checked your VOD, and you almost beat Kefka. My goodness, dude. My goodness, the Palador magic worked. It protected you from one round of Goner, but then he used it again. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How are we going to deal with that? I don't know. Susumu, what's up? Golden Shower, welcome in. How are you guys doing today? No coffee? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Good Lord, I think that's impossible. I don't know if a human being could do that. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, uh, no magic on Legend difficulty. I don't think a human being could pull that off. Lord Malachite, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, I've heard this is a good game. Jax played it a while back, but I didn't get to see any of it because I was at work. Uh, look at the demo. That looks really trolly. Oh, no. It's got bad knockback. Dude, Proto, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Kefka probably had about 15,000 hit points left at that point. You were so close, dude. It's got to happen. Holy crap. Mr. Pill, hope you're having a good day. Hope all is well. Susamu, what's going on? Hope you're having a good one. Panther, what's up? Man, <laughs> I hope you guys are just doing freaking awesome today. I, I'm glad to be playing what I think is going to be a good game. Because I, I needed to cleanse my palate after the stupidity of King's Night yesterday. That game just pissed me off. I don't ever want to see that game again. But I've heard this one's good, but it also heard it's hard. So uh, we might not beat it today. It could happen. That could happen! Well, I'll give it my best shot. All right, is there any options or any, like, no, nah, it doesn't look like there's any options. Okay, so I, I guess we're just playing on default settings. All right, the game is actually starting now. This one's rough, Mixer, be warned. Oh, I've heard it is. I've heard it's hard. You know what? Yeah, we're starting out with flying enemies. I think that's going to be a little bit difficult. 
I think that's a problem. Hubert's probably the hardest NES game for me so far. You, you know why that what that means to No Life? Th that perfectly explains it because you beat most stuff in like one stream and you've been working on Cubert for like what three or four or four or five days now. So that says a lot. You beat Magician faster than Cubert. And Ren's been working on that one for a while, and that looks insane as well. <laughs> but freaking Cubert? That's like over the top difficulty. All right, I'm not winning the fight against this dude. Yeah, great. Bats right off the bat, right? Yeah, awesome. All right, I guess I could go down to. Is this going to be the first boss? Oh, the controls in this game are actually really good. Is the game too quiet? I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I can turn it up a little bit. It's hard to... I switch. I switch emulators. I switch systems. I switch games. It's hard to do it. RMV, what's going on? It's a little quiet. All right, I'll turn it up some. That's what I was thinking. RMV, what's going on? Welcome in. Imagine the world back in the ancient caveman days. Here we are. Strap in. That is correct, JWK. This is what it was like back in the olden times. We had a guy jumping around, slashing at giant spiders with axes and bats and all that stuff. Oh, this is cool. The spider is actually losing its legs as you hit it. Interesting. I, I like it when games do this kind of stuff. Jaderg, what's up with the torture? I'm guessing this will be, yes, I will need the good luck. I bet this will be difficult. This will be a tough game. Ooh, power-ups. Nice, okay. Well, I could go. Can I go back up? Yep, I can go back up, or I can keep going this way. All right. So I read in the manual the axe powers up like an Astyan axe, where if you don't swing the weapon for a bit, it powers up to that meter at the top of the screen. If you oh speed upgrades and health. Okay, well that's cool. That's cool. I got to learn everything there is to learn about this. Rob, what's up? How you doing today? The game should be a little bit louder now. Is that better? Could turn it up even a little bit more. I think that's better. That sounds to be a lot better. Okay. I think we're good now. J Dirk, hope you're doing well. Rob, what's going on? Rage volume 100%, gain volume zero. I could turn my own voice down a little bit as well. Uh, I think that's some, yeah, I think that's somewhat decent. There we go. Wonder if there's any relation to Golden Axe. I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know much about this game other than seeing it in magazines back in the day. And also, see, there's no time limit. That's a really big deal. Coffee, sorry to, sorry to disappoint you, but it looks like this game has no time limit. And I am very happy about that. Because that means I don't have to rush. I can take my time and, like, feel out each level without feeling like I'm going to die because of the time limit. Okay, the knockback in this game's... T oh, you're going to come down here and fight. Okay. All right, do you get stuff from killing enemies in this game or not? It doesn't look like I'm getting much. All right, so it's got bad knockback. I'm going to be getting knocked into holes a lot. I can already tell that's going to be a problem. Game's so easy, a caveman can beat it. Something tells me that's not going to be the case. Oh, those commercials were so dumb. You guys remember those? Geico, so easy a caveman could do it. Th those ran their course long ago. Now they need to get rid of the gecko as well. Th that, that crap's gotta go. That's gotta go. It's dumb. It never should have existed in the first place. Okay, the hitbox with this weapon is actually great. Okay, well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. All right, well, I, I got to get good, right? Oh, bears. Oh, no. Ouch. No. Oh, God, I'm half dead. Uh oh. Ah! I got him. Okay. <laughs> All right, was that level one? That was level one. All right, we're good. We're good. That wasn't so bad. Of course, there was no holes to fall in. j Dog, hope you had a happy birthday yesterday, and I'm glad to hear that Bar Girl knows what's wrong now. I'm glad to hear that. Because an ear infection is not, not a simple thing. I've had one of those before, and the, yeah, they don't go away on their own. They're a pain. 
but hopefully she can make the next stream again. Dude, nice progress also on Batman last night. Made some very nice progress. I just powered my weapon up. I like this game already. I'm having fun. This is good. Geico came in, had a short-lived sitcom. That never should have existed either, Neff. That never should have existed. That should not have been a thing. Why it was, I don't know, because Americans are weird like that. Yeah, let, let's make a sitcom out of something as stupid as cavemen. Great idea. I'm assuming if I get knocked in the lava here, I'm gonna die. All right, can I kill that? Or is that like the fireball in Mario that you can't kill? Oh, it respawns, okay. Well, I'm being careful here because I don't have a time limit to work with. So I can take all the time I need. That sitcom happened, it did. It actually was on the air. Not that I watched it, but I heard it existed. Most of the black box arcade games don't have an ending, so I normally do one loop. That is correct. Loop, if you do a full loop of a game, it's beaten. At least in most cases. I think, like, Ghost and Goblins is, is an exception to that rule. But, for most games, yeah, one loop, game's beaten. You know, I like to do two loops in games sometimes, so that's just usually a bad idea. But people are like, hey, Mixer, it's loop two, you gotta keep going. Sometimes I do, which is not a good thing. I really regretted doing that in R-Type. <laughs> that was just not fun. I'm sorry, that was not fun. R-Type 3, loop 2. Never, ever do that. Okay, how do you not get... I don't like these things! Dude, I can't even see the... the like, the cave walls are in the foreground. Wow! Okay. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that next time either. I hope, hope this is health. That was health. All right. No harm, no foul. No! <laughs> wow! Okay, this might be hard. Batman Returns will be the death of me. Dude, you got deep into it yesterday. You're going to beat it. Harder than Holy Diver? It is a difficult beat-em-up. It really is. When's the last time an ear infection mixer for me is during that thing happened several times in childhood? Uh, probably about 10 years ago or so was the last time I had to deal with something like that. I didn't even go to the doctor. I just kind of looked up what I needed to do. And then uh, I got some meds for it, and that was it, without even having to go to the doctor. Worked out nicely. Saved some money. <laughs> Worked out like a charm. Oh God, this is, oh no, this is not gonna end well. I did beat King's Knight, Huge, yes, welcome in. How you doing today, Huge? Strider, what's going on, welcome in. Tilty, what's up, buddy? Jedi Master, welcome in. How you guys doing today? We're, uh, we're playing Legendary Axe, and so far I really like it. Yeah, Tilty, Legendary Ass, as AVGN might say, right? <laughs> Super R-Type Deathless. Okay, you do... Uh, sounds good, Celestial. Let me know how that goes. Because I'm surely never playing that game again. I hated Super R-Type. Actually, you know what? It was good until I got to the last level, and then I hated it. It was not... Oh, oh gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, can I not hurt? I can't. Wow, that took half my health. Okay, that better not respawn. <laughs> uh, help! Oh my god. Uh, no. Okay, this is not a good situation. Okay, they want me to do something like this? I guess so. The hitbox is bad on this thing! Okay, the, the boss is a boulder. <laughs> this is not what I saw coming. The boss is a freaking boulder. Okay, we got it. We haven't died yet. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. <sighs> you cleared second zone. Flair is waiting for me. That's, my, that's the character's girlfriend. That's what the book said. All right, another level down. We're making some progress. This is a good game. It hasn't been overly difficult so far. I know that could... Well... 
I just had to say something because birds are here now and you know how that's gonna go. Oh, I killed it without getting hit. Okay, platforms and birds. I see tragedy in the making here. I see tragedy in the making. Okay, how are we gonna deal with this guy? Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Is there a power up there? <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> okay, maybe we shouldn't try and get that. <laughs> Okay, that's a gotcha moment if I've ever seen one. And it powered the axe down. Really? Are you going to do a Gradius on me and power me down when I die? That's bad. You know what that means? I could get into a situation where if I died too many times, my weapon's going to be too weak to deal with whatever I'm trying to fight. Okay, so you can kill those guys by ducking and swinging. I, 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 I see that now. What if I just drop down right here? Okay, you can just drop down right there. All right, see, you, you gotta learn this stuff. You gotta learn stuff. What is that? Okay, I got my power up back. We're fine. We took a death, though. Yep, no deathless run today. Not that that was ever gonna be a thing. All right, so there's nowhere else to go here. All right, yeah, that's a dead end. Okay. All right, well, at least we know what we're kind of doing now. Okay, I can stay down here or I can go up there. We have a, hopefully it's not gonna be like mazy and stuff. All right, so just duck and you can kill these guys. Okay, I got it. And there's a power up up there I didn't get. I'm gonna go back. There's no time limit. I can do whatever I want. I'm free. I have freedom. All right, what's that? That's like a speed increase or something. All right, I'm gonna drop back down here and keep going this way. Maybe that was a bad idea. I don't know, there's a rock dude up there. Happy Saturday to you as well, family games. Welcome in, how you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Goten, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Good to see you as well. A death sound's going to be in your brain. Smart and tart, what's up? What, am I going to die a lot here? Of course I am, because I don't know what I'm doing. Goten, so close again last night. Jesus Christ. It's going to happen in Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I, I can tell. Any run, dude. Any run, and we're being raided also. Welcome in, raiders. Angry old man's here. What's up, angry old man? How you doing today? Neo, what's up? Thank you for the raid, buddy. How's it going today? Is this game better than yesterday's game? So far, this is good. It's got bad knockback, though, and it's got flying enemies and pits, so you know how that could go. It could go really, really, really badly. Oh, Angry, how you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good day. And Neo, what were you working on? Thank you for the raid, dude. I appreciate it. What are you playing today? Hopefully not something like King's Knight, am I right? Is that, that was pretty garbage yesterday. I, I'm happy to be done with that one. That's going to make my bad games list. Simply because I hated that last level so much. That, that's one of the worst last levels in a game I've ever seen. Maybe not quite as bad as Super R-Type, but it was pretty bad. I'm good, thanks. About to go uh, pick up my buddy Gary in a little bit. Maybe some pizza for lunch. Well, how could you go wrong with that? That sounds great. A nice, fun, chill Saturday, right? I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or not. I'm just going. Get, we're getting stuff. All right, I don't know what point your point's gonna help me in this game. Is a high score important? Probably not. That was a one up, okay. And I can't go any further to the right. Okay, so that's optional. Oh, that was close. Uh, I was playing the new Castlevania 2 PC remake. Dude, I have seen that played a little bit, and it looks actually awesome. That looks really good. I hope you're enjoying it. It looks like it's everything the original Castlevania 2 was supposed to be. Right? That That's what it was supposed to be. Not this garbled up mess it turned out to be, which was unfortunate, because that really should have been a great game. And I beat that when I was a kid, the original, but only because of, like, Nintendo Power and the, and the Nintendo Hotline and all that good stuff. 
A Gravitar Recharged that's good? I've never heard of that. Never heard of that one, Huge. There, there's going to be most stuff I've, I've just never heard of. <laughs> I apologize, though, because I, I don't, like, keep up with, like, new games or, like, a lot of stuff. I, I have no idea. Is that a new or an old game? I don't know. Boss fights are a little rage-inducing. Well, that's a good thing, because they were really pointless in the original Castlevania 2. They were completely pointless. In fact, there's one you just walk past, right? Not that I knew that you could do that as a kid, but... I remember it being that way. We don't need new games, exactly. Who needs them? Who freaking needs them? Forgot about Nintendo's Hotline. Sintalis, what's going on? Yeah, the Nintendo Hotline was awesome. I used it quite a bit. The Sega Hotline also helped me out quite a few times with a couple of Sega games. So those hot hotlines were really good. They were really useful information. Which, which looking back on it, is pretty dang awesome because that was one of the only ways you could get help with the game. Sin, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome in. Leader B, what's going on? You can just walk right past death. See, that's what I was thinking. I didn't do that when I was a kid at my friend's house back in the day. But I do remember that being possible in like a, a video I saw. Probably saw that on the, the, that original Angry Video Game Nerd episode. Might have had that. All right, you can't hit me while I'm swinging on a vine. That's not fair. I can't defend my... Oh, you're respawning! Okay, great. That's wonderful. Okay, so... Uh-oh. All right, we got a bear. Are you gonna jump? Yep, you're gonna jump. Well, it sucks to be you. Uh oh Ah, <laughs> that's not fair. That's not fair at all. All right, how about dropping health? Maybe I shouldn't be fighting them. Drop health. Nothing. Great. I'm almost dead now. Another bear? Really? Alright, we have more room to work with this time. What? No! I'm not dying to a bird! That better be health. <laughs> that better be health, dude. Oh my god, that was health. And I was... <laughs> I had no hit points left. Holy crap, that was lucky. That was lucky. Use it for Star Tropics sometime in the middle of the game and ask you for a password. There's no letter I happen to throw out. Never forget 747. You know what? I'm, I'm Maybe I should keep that in mind for when I play Star Tropics because I've never played that game before. But I know it's a good game. I've seen it played through a, a while back. And I'm going to have to like try and forget everything about it so I can do a blind playthrough. Nintendo Power Guides could be a little vague sometimes. Yeah, that's why you needed the good old Nintendo Hotline, right? And they, they helped you a lot. I, th I think the last thing I used Nintendo Hotline for was Final Fantasy Adventure on the Game Boy. There's a clue about palm trees in one of the areas, and the, the clue was way too vague in the game. And there was nothing in Nintendo... Man, these enemies are getting more vicious. And so I had to call Nintendo Hotline to figure out what the hell I was doing with that game. So it, it worked, too. It worked perfectly. Oh, what is this? Jungle Hunt? What is this? Jungle Hunt on the Atari 2600? That's what it looks like. Who's played that before? That's actually a really good game. That is an awesome game. Yeah, I gotta play Star Tropics sometime. It looks good. It looks like my kind of game. Figuring out dungeons and stuff. Maybe it's like Zelda-ish. The P-Team, what's going on, came for the Mega Man 2 X2 a few weeks ago. I've stayed for the last. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I enjoyed that Mega Man X2 playthrough. It was damn hard, though. No armor, pea shooter only, no E-Tanks. Mega Man X2 was freaking awesome. All right, this, uh... Are these guys gonna just die forever, or do they respawn forever? Looks like they keep respawning. P-Team, hope you're having a good day. Birds never stay out of it, Vanilla, I know. They're just going to be in pretty much every game. They haven't been too bad in this one. Oh, what the hell, dude? Bullshit. That's bullshit right there. How far back? And my weapon got powered down. Beautiful. I wonder how many continues this game has. <laughs> or if it's got them at all, I don't know. I don't remember seeing that in the manual when I was looking at it a while ago. So if there's no continues, I, I might be in trouble here. <laughs> that means we're gonna have to get really good to beat it. Hero, what's going on? Neff, hope you're having a good day. 
do like King's Knight. I beat King's Knight. I never have to play that again. It's over. It is 100% over, done, kaput. Never again. There's no reason to ever play that again. Okay, they're letting me get powered back up. So it's a little more forgiving than Gradius, at least, when it comes to power-ups. All right, so how did I do this a second ago? I did it correctly. They want you to do... No. Oh, God! All right. <laughs> I did that fine on the first try. Obviously, that was beginner's luck, right? No shame this was included on the Turbo Mini. This, From what I understand, Tilty, this was one of the better Turbo Graphics games that came out back in the day. And I always saw it in magazines like Electronic Gaming Monthly and Game Pro, but I never actually got to play this game. I never even saw it played until Jax played it like uh, several months ago, but I didn't get to watch it because I was working during that time. He likes King's Knight in a trash can. That's the only place for that game. That game could have been good, honestly. But bad developer decisions ruined it. Okay, how did I do... How did I not make that last time, dude? That That's easy. That is easy. All right, we got to watch for these, these mermen guys because they're going to knock me off again. I'm not getting pushed backwards by the, the wood dude. All right, birds in this game are low threat. That, that's a big positive. Okay, did these not die in one hit? Apparently not, okay. Gotta hit them with a powered up axe strike, obviously. Hobo, how you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Char, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well, dude. Same for you, Backlog, what's going on? Thank you for the GG's on King's Night. That was a bad game. That was a bad game. Yeah, I said that was my favorite game of all time. Yeah, if you if if you want another favorite game for the garbage can, yeah, it's King's Knight. Palm trees, you need to walk around in the eight-shape coffee. You've played that, haven't you? You played Final Fantasy Adventure. The clue was palm tree and eight. I was like, what the hell does that mean? That, that hit the palm tree eight times. Uh, uh, hit the palm tree with a magic spell eight times, kill eight enemies on the screen. I was doing everything I could with eight except walk in a figure eight, which to me as a 13 year old never crossed my mind. So yeah, I was stuck there for months until I was finally like, okay, I better just call the Nintendo hotline. I'm not getting through this. And then I got through the rest of the game, no problem. One vague, stupid clue ruined my playthrough of that game. But I, I, that's still one of the best Game Boy games around. It's good. Is Mixer real life Batman or is it just coincidence wearing this t-shirt? Um, no, I'm absolutely not Batman. Absolutely not. If, if I was, I would be living in a mansion, right? I would be Bruce Wayne. Uh-oh. Uh oh, God, look at this. Look at this! Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I see what they're doing here. They're going to try and get me killed with knockback. I know what this game's up to. All right, that's got to... Uh, how am I going to kill this guy? Okay, now what? It's a leap of faith? Where do I go here? I can't scroll the screen down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Leap of faith. Oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> that could have been tragic right there. All right, how do you, like, not get hit here? I guess I could be more patient. All right, we're not done with platforming. Oh, shit. Would you rather be Bruce Wayne or Bruce Willis? Definitely Bruce Wayne. Definitely Bruce Wayne. Maybe you're in a mansion. I'm not. I'm not. It's just a regular nice little house. I actually figured that out by accident later realized that was what the clue meant. You, coffee, I'm jealous, dude. I'm freaking jealous. I was stuck there for like six months. Good to see you as well, Char. I hope you're having an awesome day, man. It's Saturday. What more do you need? GG on King's Night had to dip out to pick up dinner for the kids. No problem, man. I'm just glad we got through King's Night and didn't have to ever play that again. I never want to see that game again the rest of my life. And honestly, a shame, because a couple of fixes that would have taken like 10 minutes to code in would have probably made that a playable game. But as it is, it's garbage. It would have been garbage. And no, I'm not Kevin either. Darkman was determined to call me that name. I don't know why. Is that Spikes? No, that's the background. Okay, I was about to say that looks ominous right there. All right, let's uh, be patient, maybe. Maybe that's what we do here. This guy's going to attack me. All right, I'm going to try and kill him. Kill him, yes. Okay. 
Oh no! No 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 no! <laughs> you can't get. Oh, <laughs> that would have. Who is this guy? All right, not a threat, obviously. Okay, I was about to say, is that the boss? It's not. All right, you know you do a lot of damage in this game if you if you wait and charge up your weapon. Eggbird, I remember that when we were laughing about that. That was a while ago. That was a while back. Looked out and beat the final boss in Dark Man by getting behind him and walking off the screen to the left. Did that happen? The only way I beat him no life was just jamming on the B button when I was punching him and hoping he died and he died before I did. Th that's how I ended up beating him. I felt I just got really lucky. Okay, they want me to do that. That was a terrible final boss fight, by the way. Very badly designed. He's like right on the edge of a building. What were they thinking with that? That's why that game sucks. Otherwise, that game could have been somewhat okay, but no, that, that boss fight destroyed everything. Wow, that guy does a ton of freaking damage. All right, gotta be more careful with that. All right, so the duck and slash move works pretty good in this game. Come on, dude. I have to do better than that. There we go. I don't think I have any lives left. I don't know if this game has continues either. We might be in a lot of trouble here. We made it pretty far in. I don't know how many levels this game has, but I feel like we're doing okay. Okay, that guy's down. How about some health? I'm almost dead. Please be health. I need help. Not a boss fight. I need health. I've got no health. <laughs> what is this? I can't even move. <laughs> okay, well, it can't hurt me here, but I can't really move. I have no health. There's no way we're killing this. I can't move. Dude, how? How? Game over? No! <laughs> Where's my is continue? Oh, thank God there's continues. A three. Okay, well, that's better than none. That's better than none. We're fine. Am I all the way back to the beginning of the level or are we at like a checkpoint? I don't really remember. I think this is a big. No, this is a checkpoint. Okay. All right, well, that's not too bad. You don't even have to start the whole level over. That's fine. I think you need a larger axe like the one in the in the game box. Space hamster, what's up? No, we don't get that. We get this dinky little thing. Yeah, look, the, the box is false advertising. Look at that. That is wrong. Oh, my God. This was your granddaddy's Elden Ring. This is my kind of game then, Tilty, because I, I will never play something like Elden Ring. That looks that honestly looks boring to me. Crudus, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Thank you for the hug, dude. How you doing today? Same for you, Space Hamster. Pizza, welcome in. You guys are doing good. <laughs> what are we going to do with this goddamn boss here, dude? Sort of punching, and then I guess I turned to the right, and he hit me, and the knockback pushed me through him. That was just walk left and won. I'm jealous about that, because I had to restart that game so many times, simply because of that boss. You, did, you had to do the same thing, too, though, No Life. I remember getting to watch that a bit. Because I had already beaten it, and I was like, let's see how he deals with this boss. And it's just a trolly mess of a boss fight in freaking Dark Man. That's, that's one of the worst games I've played, and that boss fight contributed to that. Okay, can I not reach this guy from here? Oh, yeah, we did, we did that last time. Okay. What?! All right, that was bullshit, okay. Well, let's not do that again. <laughs> All right, you know what we have to do? You know what we have to do here? We have to be patient. We have to wait on the green guy, the merman, whatever that is. That's the guy from D-Man. All right, I'm just gonna jump. I'm just gonna run. All right, we don't have to fight him. All right, I'm not that far back. 
Don't get knocked off the platforms. Thank you, Crudas. Hank, that's 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 a hint or a tip. You know we don't do that here. <laughs> oh, it's like werewolf again in some waterfall level vanilla. Oh god, that was awful. I liked Werewolf the Last Warrior, but I did not like that waterfall level. This is giving me bad flashbacks to that. <laughs> but Werewolf was actually a good game, but not that waterfall level. That that's that was a garbage level. Dude. Dude, how can I do better at this? I, I, I'm not doing so hot now. All right. Man, the difficulty spiked up considerably here. They better give me some freaking health. I can't beat that boss with zero health. Th there's no way. Right, he can't hit me from here, I don't think. No. Okay. Please give me some health here. One hit point. I I've got like... You can't spawn regular enemies in the middle of the freaking boss fight! Alright, another one hit point. I suppose that's better than zero. What are you supposed to do here, dude? Like this? No. Boss fight sucks. Alright, the fire can't hit you if you're on the side of the screen, but... Oh, no. No. Okay, I got one of them. Yeah, this boss. This was... Alright, you, you, can't, you can't just leave me trapped here! I can't... If I stop... Dude, I'm gonna get... <laughs> well, I, I killed another one of them. Yes! Okay, I think I got it figured out. I think I got it figured out. I still have hit points. I still have a hit point and like... Yes! Okay, we know how to deal with that from now on. Wow. <laughs> wow, Jay Cox, what's up? Welcome in. How you doing today? This boss has Kid Icarus vibes to me for some reason. Oh, like the fight against Pandora. I remember fighting Pandora and Kid Icarus back in the day. That's, that's the, the first time I got there, I was like, wow, it's not a very hard boss fight. That was worse, for sure. All right, they're starting me in the middle of a bunch of enemies. That's not... Okay, I'm already half dead. Good, good start to this level. Great start here. Wow. That was cheap as hell. One hit point in a dream, and that time it actually worked out. I can't believe it. Jay Cox, I'm doing good, man. I hope you are, too. Uh-oh. Can I destroy this? I, okay, I can. I can! All right, another power-up. Oh, no, not these things again. These things were on a previous level, and they're awful. Look how much health, dude. Look how much health. Okay, this is... This, <laughs> okay, we have butterflies and a log going back and forth. What could possibly go wrong with this? No, don't do that here. Okay, I need that health. The stuff despawn in this game, it might. No, okay. Great, the eyeball things are back. Maybe you do, Space Hamster. That would be a an interesting thing if they actually gave me the axe that's on the cover of the box. So this dinky little one-hand axe I've got. Where is the jun- Oh, no, not more of this. Okay. It's jungle hunt time. All right, no problem. Timing's gonna have to be good on these jumps or I'm obviously not going to make it. Okay. All right, nice. We can deal with these guys. My axe is doing more damage than ever. Legendary hatchet, it should be. It's what it looks like. It's been, yeah, it's basically Tarzan. I didn't even make that connection. But that's that's exactly what this guy looks like, Tarzan. Especially when he's on the vines. 
Haven't beaten a Genesis game on stream. There's so many good Genesis games, dude. You, you gotta dive into that category. There's a million good Genesis games, practically. Yeah, I'm exaggerating, but there's so many good ones. Don't knock me off. It just anything but getting knocked off here would be great. Anything but that. I, I hate these enemies right here. Just keep hitting the button. Retro fan, what's up, man? How you doing today? Got to be some of the best video game music ever. There's not much to it, is there? <laughs> it's very quiet music. It is there, but you can barely hear it. What? Dude, I've hit this thing with a full powered up strike three times and it's still going. There, okay. Oh, no, no! <laughs> I saw that coming like a mile away. I saw that coming, you piece of cr I hate those enemies. Those little jumpy guys are awful. <laughs> the hatchet in elementary school, no. Uh, what did we read in elementary school? The mouse and the motorcycle. That's what I remember reading. <laughs> I liked it too. It was good. Who else read that? The mouse and the motorcycle. That was freaking epic when you're like nine years old or whatever. A mouse driving a motorcycle. It was incredible. Uh, I've only beaten one Genesis game. Which game though? No life. Which game would that be? I'm very curious as to know what it is. Somebody needs to redeem more Genesis games for you. A year, that's not what you're working on though. You're working on Nintendo. After you do every Nintendo game, I guess you're going to start with every Genesis game and Super Nintendo game. There's always more to work on, right? Always. See, this is on Turbo Graphics. I've barely done anything with Turbo Graphics, and I really like the system, but haven't done much with it yet. What have we done? Rondo of Blood. That's really good. No, no, do not knock me off again. Okay, I'm getting better. Did you like Runaway Ralph? I don't think we. I don't remember seeing that or reading it. I, that does not ring a bell. <laughs> Monica, it does not. How you doing today? Streets of Rage. Okay, so at least it's a good one. It's a good one. I don't know about that, Retro Fan. I'm not sure. <laughs> it could happen. The 49ers do look pretty good. It could definitely happen. I think it's going to be the Eagles and the... Uh, Bengals. I think that's the Super Bowl I'm, I'm expecting, but could be proven wrong. I mean, I thought the Bills were going to do better than they did, and they, they were awful. Okay, don't knock me off! Oh my god, that is a bad spot to stand. Run for your freaking life. All right. <laughs> I was within inches of a death right there. All right, no problem there. We still have continues, at least. I, I don't think I have any more lives left, though. All right, nice. This is a really good game. I'm enjoying this game. This is a good one. That little butterfly kills me. I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> that was really, really, really close right there. Holy crap. Eagles, Bengals is my pick, too. It looks like the best two teams left over. Rondo's the only turbo game I've played. Leader B, you've played a really good one then. Because Rondo of Blood is awesome. That is an incredibly good game. In fact, it's one of the best Castlevania. It might be my favorite Castlevania. No, Castlevania 3. Oh! Oh, there's going to be holes in the ground now? What? What is this nonsense? What, what is this nonsense? What, there's... Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, I'm full power now. Okay. Unlimited power! Okay, is there, like, a way to tell... Oh. Okay, so uh, you can fall through the floor. You can fall through the floor. Is it only on like s single blocks? Is that the way this works? Looks like there's a way to tell if you can fall through the floor or not, which is really good. I'm gonna test it on the other one too. Okay, so maybe that's the clue we're looking for. No, we haven't done much of TurboGrafx-16. Its library is mostly known for shmups. Yeah, I'm trying to stay away from those. I don't care about, I care nothing about shmups. I hate them. They're not f Holy shit, we killed that guy in one hit with a full power strike. Nice! Okay. 
Oh crap, I've... Oh. What?! <laughs> what the hell was that?! I fall in a hole and get mauled by monkeys?! I totally saw that coming. I couldn't even do anything. <laughs> that was bullshit, dude. Wow, I didn't even have a chance. That is insanity. Okay, we can't let that happen again. Wow, okay. I got absolutely mauled by monkeys right there. Okay, let's, let's not do that again. How about that? I need to have PCE, so I played it on Magic Engine. What did you think about it, Leader B? Did you enjoy it? I, I thought it was in extremely good. Runaway Ralph was a movie for Mouse and the Motorcycle. It had Fred Savage in it. Okay, I've seen the movie, but I didn't know it was called Runaway Ralph. Because, see, I was just expecting it just be the mouse and the motorcycle. So, yes, actually, I've seen that. Monica, he ends up getting into an ambulance in the movie, too. Is that the one you're thinking about? Is that it? I I'm pretty sure that, that we we're talking about the same thing here. I, I'm, I'm just going out on a limb, though. I could be wrong. I've got a Turbo Duo console, but I haven't had anyone redeem for me to play it yet. I've got, like, over 100,000 points now in your stream, No Life, from all the times I lurk. But when I go to bed, I should redeem something. <laughs> I like hoarding points in people's channels. Oh, crap. I forgot. I forgot. We don't need to be down here. Cram it! You could have warned me that there were a, a hole with deadly monkeys in it. No, I'm just kidding. I like being surprised like that. Kremit, how you doing today? Free internet, what's going on? Dean, what's going on? You guys, uh, you guys saw me die to the monkeys, right? That you find that funny? Well, that was bullshit. Valo, what's going on? Rob, what's going on? How are you guys doing today? Catch up with you guys a bit. I'm falling behind. You can redeem raffle tickets. I could. I could. Maybe I might even win another game. <laughs> I always want to add to my collection. Not that I'm actually a collector or anything. I've only got the stuff I grew up with as a kid. No Life, this game I got from you is the first new Nintendo game I've gotten since the late 90s. I have not gotten any new stuff since then. It's too expensive these days to collect. It really is. All right, so here's what we're going to do here. We're going to scroll the... Sc if you jump, though, you can't tell where the holes are in the ground. I just realized that, too. Okay. So if I walk over here like this, I kill this guy. Okay, see, I can tell where the holes are now. It's the single layer block. So see, if I jump here, I'm safe. And if I jump here, I'm safe. Okay, I'm not falling in the monkey hole again. I know how to avoid that. We're not going down there again. That's not going to happen. You guys that have played this probably figured that was about to happen, didn't you? Kremit knew it was going to happen. Have you played it, Kremit, or did you see someone else get here and deal with the same awful thing? All right, this obviously going to be another something like that, another monkey hole. We're not going down there. <laughs> At least I know how to avoid it now. They got me once. They're not getting me again. Not again. You were waiting for it to happen too, Valo? Uh, Smart and Tarts played it as well. This reminds me of that Stein Axe. That is a good thing. It is. It's got the same attack mechanic, Rob. You look, wait for your axe to charge up and you can do a lot more damage. Like right here, I'm going to charge to full power. And then I'm going to one-shot that guy. See, that's freaking awesome. I like that mechanic. Of course, if you miss your attack, you're probably screwed, but that's okay too. All right, nice. All right, is this going to be some health? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can't start me in the middle of... Uh, oh, no. Oh, they've got more range than I do! Oh, gosh. No. How the crap do you... Oh my god, how the hell do you win that? 
Alright, I have no idea how to win that fight. <laughs> I have not a clue! Wow, I got owned! And I even had full power and it did not even help me. Alright, and you have to play the whole level again, too. There's no checkpoint at the boss. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, at least I got to see what the boss does, but I don't know how to deal with it yet. I played this before, but I can't make it this far. I've seen Mike Matei play it before. I, I wonder how he dealt with the... I wonder what his reaction was when he landed in the monkey pit. I want to see that. <laughs> That's probably on YouTube. I'm going to have to look that up. His reactions to stuff are good, so that's interesting he's played this. I bet he beat it. He, he beats most stuff he plays. Gresco, what's going on? Yeah, it's Turbo Graphics, man. It's Turbo Graphics, and it's not a schmuck, so we're in good shape. How you doing today, Gresco? Hope you're doing well. We're doing pretty... I like this game. This is a good game. It's fair. It's giving me a chance to figure stuff out. Of course, I just dropped into the monkey pit a minute ago and died, but I know they're there now, so they're not getting me again. I know how to avoid them. Of course, I'll, no, I'll forget they're there in a minute and not pay attention and probably drop back in there. So uh, that could happen. Gives me that what's going on. How you doing today? I'll play Bubsy when the thing fills up. Huge. Y you see where you can put points in? Bubsy gets played when that fills up. That's the way it works. Not playing until that happens. It's like 58% or something. It's getting there. It'll get there and we'll play Bubsy. I'm uh, I'm honestly really curious about Bubsy. I might end up liking it. That that could be a thing. I sometimes I like a game. Some people hate. I like Deadly Towers. Most people hate Deadly Towers. I, I think it's a fine game. W where's where's the hate coming from? No life didn't like Deadly Towers. <laughs> I did though. I thought it was fun. It, it's a fair game. It gives you a chance to figure everything out. Unlike King's Night, which is which is just bullshit. Don't let the monkeys intimidate you, just don't. Well, I just won't go down there again and we'll never see him again, right? It's Gold Mixer, okay. It took him a while, yeah, I, I can see why. It's not an easy game. It's not easy. Tari Jaguar Bubsy, no. Did you finish King's Night? Penfold, what's up? I did. I did finish King's Night. And it was not fun. <laughs> I never want to, I hope to never see that game again. That's my thoughts on King's Knight. Just never ho hope to see it again. And I hope nobody gives it a chance to actually play through it. Alright, how are we going to beat these guys? Maybe pick the health up later. Because there is health on the screen. That's not health. That's money or something. That's not enough health! There's health over there and now the guys are in front of it. Now there's nothing I can freaking do. I gotta go for the health. It wasn't enough anyway. That was one hit point. Wow, this sucks. This sucks! How do you do this? Oh boy, I'm worried about this now. I am c deeply concerned. <laughs> okay, I miss that item. I miss it every time because I don't know where I'm going to fall. I'm dopey. It only just on them is TG16. I'm not sure about the graphics. Are they a bit basic for TG16 or not? Looks about normal, Vanilla. Looks about normal. I think... The reason you didn't notice that right away is I think, isn't it called the PC Engine in Europe and Japan? It's not called the Turbo Graphics. I think they went with PC Engine and they changed it to Turbo Graphics because I think they felt Americans were too dumb to understand what PC Engine meant. I think they thought it was going to sound like a computer on a train or something because that's honestly what it kind of sounds like. Yeah, but it was definitely the PC Engine in most places around the world, and only the Turbo Graphics in the United States. We Americans are we're a little bit dumb sometimes. You have to cater to us. <laughs> that's the way, that's usually the way it goes. It has to be censored and brought down to a level that people can understand here. PC Engine Choo Choo, I know. It's what it sounds like. See, I remember reading about that in magazines. I was like. Oh, PC Engine, what in the hell are they talking about? And then it explained somewhere that that was actually the Turbo Graphics. And I was like, oh, well, why change the name? I didn't get it. They may, yeah, maybe they wanted the name to sound more exciting. Turbo Graphics definitely sounds more exciting than PC Engine. Maybe that's what they were doing. Sonny, what's up, man? It contributed 33,000 to Bubsy total. Seems to have been up, up for a very long time. Yeah, it, it's going to be up for sure until we actually are able to play it. And if the time runs out, I'm just going to reload the time on it. So Bubsy's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. 
All right, those guys are like right here. That's a lot of, that's a big health drop. Does it despawn or can I leave it there and pick it up in a minute? I'm gonna see if that despawns. We're gonna wait just a second. Famicom changed the NES and Mega Drive changed the Genesis. I don't like that. I like leaving things as they are. I'm not a fan. Sound exciting Super Mega Picture Player 16. They, they, I'm not surprised they didn't call it that. I'm not surprised. They called it Turbo Graphics. They were obsessed with better graphics. I'm not, okay, that's one thing that has never bothered me in a game. If it has good gameplay, but the graphics are crappy, I don't care. Just give me the good gameplay. I don't care anything about graphics. I know younger kids today, they're obsessed with graphics. I don't care. Legend of Zelda has crappy graphics by today's standards, one of the best games ever played. I, I don't care about graphics. This looks like a decent 16-bit game to me as far as how it looks. I'm, I have no problem with it. Doesn't care about graphics or complains about Zork. Zork? What is that? Never seen that. Mega Drive always sounded a cool name when I was a kid. I'm surprised I changed that one for North America. And Mega Drive was a fine name. No problem. Don't know why. It's probably really tough to do in this boss fight because hitting those guys with max power might be good. I was trying to do that, but they're like mauling on top of me. I don't know how we're going to win this fight. I'm going to get my ass kicked here, but I'm going to leave this health thing here because apparently it never goes away. See, I even have the game on pause now, and the health thing's still there, so that's my plan. Hit them with max power, keep the health thing there, try and pick it up when I'm hurt. That's the plan. What am I drinking? It looks like cough medicine. It's, it's diet ocean spray cranberry juice with no calories and just vitamin C. This is what it is. It's not cough syrup. It's not syrup either, Tilty. <laughs> My God. <laughs> See, it says a bit wars now. 16 bits, 32 bits, 64 bits, half bit, the wrist game. Yeah, I know what we're going for here. <laughs> Everyone's seen that Angry Video Game Nerd episode. It ends with the wrist game. <laughs> they wanted to get rid of the stigma of video games. After the video game crashes, the words video game made people run for the hills. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Half bit, quarter bit. The wrist games! <laughs> I, I had one of those. I don't know where it is. All right, we, we can win. We can win this fight. What if I just keep him off the screen? Can he hit me? All right, I'm just gonna keep doing this. The other guy is not participating in the... Oh, he got me. Okay. No, oh, they can block attacks too, really. What is this, Zelda 2? Okay, well, I'm doing better this time. Mora, what's up, buddy? Good luck, great game. I'm enjoying this. I don't know how to win this boss fight, but I, I, I have a plan. I think I'm doing way better this time. This guy not gonna die how much health do these guys have I'm gonna charge up to a big hit oh no no yes I got one of them all right oh I'm almost dead though no health help that's not enough no Dude, I'm getting it handed to me. That big axe strike did massive damage, but I don't know if I can live long enough to charge it up. That's a problem. Jesus. Call me Arnold, because I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, get to the chopper while you're at it, Tilty. Get to the chopper. Man, th this part, it's... It, you know what? Nothing's been that hard in this game up until this moment. I have no idea how to deal with those guys. They've got way more range than me. That's the problem. And I don't have time to charge up. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. This is a good game. Really good game. Yeah, large pikes are a lot better than a small axe, obviously, right? All right, I've got to scroll the screen so I can tell where the monkey pit is so we don't drop into that again. At least there's a way to avoid that. I mean, the, the first time you're probably going to fall into it, but there, there are ways to deal with it. And it works just like that. All right, nice. You really want to hit stuff with full power. Practically one-shots everything. Even killed the, one of the boss guys really quickly. Really? 
No! You don't do any damage unless you charge up your weapon. The, the, the damage is pitiful. Absolutely freaking pitiful. All right, that's like a speed power up. All right, don't fall in the monkey hole. Don't want to be down there. You die instantly. I don't even know if you can kill those guys. I was hitting the buttons like crazy down there with the monkeys. Nothing was happening. I was just dying. Saw a video on the use of the Nintendo Power Glove yesterday. I was uh, wondering why the hell it didn't catch on to other platforms. Really looks cool, especially with Mike Tyson's punch out. It was po programmed really badly and just didn't work. That was the whole thing with the power glove. My friend had one when I was a kid. I might have that. The same power glove my friend owned somewhere packed up. If I can find it, maybe we'll do a power glove stream. I don't know where it is, though. I mean, there's stuff packed up in the boxes everywhere, in, including in my parents' storage unit they rent. Some of my stuff's in there. But I have no idea like where most of my stuff even is. All right, this boss fight's just about to start. Okay, I'm not picking that up right away. I'm not going to pick it up. Yes! Oh, that didn't count! idea how to win this fight man none whatsoever oh god i'm gonna lose another continue we're not gonna beat it on this run obviously i just want to try and figure out this fight before we have to get back to it again we get back to if i figure it out we'll get back to it again with more continues and hopefully find a way to beat it <laughs> man this is this is brutal right now I just missed an item up there because I keep falling. I was going to redeem Bill and Ted with my power glove, but it wasn't working right. I think the sensor bar is broken. Bill and Ted with the power glove would have been an awesome stream. Maybe you can get it fixed, No Life, because I would really like to see that. Is there a category for a speed run with the power glove? I bet there's not, but still, that would be fun to see. Wolfmaster, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing today? I know vanilla. If it had actually worked, it would have been freaking epic. It would have been awesome. All right, there's nothing down there. Wolf, how are you doing today, man? Welcome in. Have you ever played Legendary Axe before on Turbo Graphics? This is a good game. I'm enjoying this, but damn, this boss fight is absolutely kicking my ass right now. Don't know how to win it yet. Still trying to work through a strategy. My the idea of leaving health behind to pick up mid fight is kind of decent, but I mean, it's not getting it. It's not enough. We need more. We wouldn't check this game out for a long time. It's a good one, man. It's tough. It's got a waterfall level like Werewolf the Last Warrior. You really like that part. <laughs> I was getting some bad flashbacks on that level. I got knocked off a couple of times too. Same exact way. Bad. It's got bad knockback. Yeah, uh, kind of like Simon and Trevor and Ryu Hayabusa and all the other characters that get knocked back badly. Well, this guy does too. This guy suffers from horrible knockback. Big shock, right? Yeah, the, the werewolf vibes were real. Vanilla brought that up. And then it clicked with me instantly. Tried the power glove once, stopped using it after five minutes. <laughs> Rob was like, this thing's a piece of shit. Give me the brick again. My buddy and I ha you tried to make the Power Glove work with like all the games we had back in the day. We, we couldn't get the thing to do anything. There's a game that came with it or something, Super Glove Ball. That was the only game that worked decently with the Power Glove. Okay, they're not dropping. That's, a, a, that's not enough health, dude. That only gives me like one. I'm not going to win this fight like that. Well, we got to try. more I know what points that's not enough I, I have no idea <laughs> well I'm, I, don't, I don't have a clue dude we're gonna run out of lives we're gonna have to start over but that's okay too I didn't expect to beat this quickly everyone I've talked to about this game says it's difficult so am I surprised no rad racer with the power glove yeah that only works if you're in the if you're watching the movie if we're watching the uh, the wizard, 
because Lucas uses the power glove to play Rad Racer. But you know, there's some guy sitting behind the camera controlling it with the brick. He's not actually playing the game with the power glove. That's movie magic. I actually know it's movie bullshit, but it, you get the point. You get the point. No one actually did that. Remember the running mat? Mine was pretty janky. It was a fun add-on from Nintendo. Oh, the power pad. Yeah. I never actually got to mess with one of those things. Even though a friend of mine owns one, I, we never did anything with it. The power glove sucks functionally, but you can try the same movement five times and get five different results. The U-Force works great, though. Watch a few streams, and it's amazing. That sounds like sarcasm, Krim, and I don't think the U-Force does anything. That, that, how would you like the, you set the, I could set the U Force up like right here and do a U Force stream. It would be the dumbest looking thing ever. You guys would be like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea, right? No. Awful idea. <laughs> the, the U Force. Ren, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? This is a good game, but I'm stuck here. I've died to the same boss like six times in a row and I'm not like getting any better at it. Ren, that was fun staying up last night watching you play Magician. I don't even know what time you finished. I was like nodding in and out. I was half conscious half the night, but I did see that incident where you died in front of the chest by being poisoned. After spending an hour to map a maze out, I did see that. <laughs> it was, it was that not the perfect way to end things. That, that was insane. That's why we stream, to see those kind of moments. I'm losing all my health on this guy. We can't do that. I'm tired. That was the end of the stream. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I was like half conscious at that point, but I did. I remember seeing that. I don't even... What time was that? Three in the morning? <laughs> I don't even remember. It was so late. <laughs> I should have gone to bed earlier, but I like when streams are going on and I haven't gone to bed yet, I'm like, uh, I, I want to see how this ends. <laughs> That's usually the way it goes. <laughs> Goten saw that clip. I know it was a good one, was it not? It, it was really good. An hour to get through a room, gets to the treasure chest, dies in front of the chest, doesn't see it because of poison. <laughs> Beautiful. I can't wait to see how that concludes. Something like 2.25, okay. Gotcha, I, I couldn't remember what time it was. Rolling Rocker stream, I don't own one. And I'm not going to get one either, so don't try and think about sending me one either. So that's why I don't have a, uh, a P.O. box. You guys would send me all kinds of garbage. You guys would send me garbage. And see, I saw a little bit of Proto stream last night as well. He was working on Kefka. And what did I see? I saw an almost victory with that run because of the Palador strategy. Proto, if you had survived a little bit longer after the Palador thing to like get up life three, you might have won the fight. Kefka was at like 15,000 hit points, I think I counted up, because he's, he starts with like 63,000. You were so close, dude. It was amazing. I thought that might have been the run. Mugwai, what's going on, man? Grim Viper, what's going on? How are you guys doing today? Grick, what's up, man? Hope you guys are having a good day. I've seen a streamer beat Super Mario 2 using the U-Force. So you're actually saying it it's possible, Kremit. I thought you were just kidding. Edge, what's going on? What's up, man? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Kremit, I can't believe it, dude. Now I kind of want to try it. If I owned one, I might actually try the U-Force. I thought it was just a gimmick thing that didn't work, but... Maybe it does. Okay, that's a big health thing. We gotta win this fight, dude. We're gonna win this fight! Who believes? Who believes that I'm gonna win the fight this time? That's probably nobody, but I mean, I'm gonna give it a shot. Alright, let's go. That is a shitty start. I wasted the the big hit on a, on a podium. I'm dead. I charged up my accent and it hit the freaking podium. <laughs> I'm so dead now. Right, jumping doesn't seem to be working too good. This is like nothing works on this fight. What if I... No. I need that. No! I don't know how to do this fight. God damn it. I'm, I'm going to run out of lives. Megami says, I think you'll lose. Well, guess what? You were right. You were right. Thank you. You were absolutely right. 
<laughs> Megami, welcome in. Lorraine, welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see both of you. This could be going... This, you know what? This game was going really well until I got to this level. Now I don't have a clue how to win this boss fight. The other bosses were kind of easy. This one, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've killed one of them. That's the best I've done. You saw that coming. I think maybe we all did. <laughs> that was awful! I must be missing... Either I'm missing something or this boss fight's actually really hard. Or I'm really bad. I don't know. I can't wait to see the new strategies, Proto. I can't wait to see more. That's a riveting content. See, that's why I don't like to go to bed. Sometimes I'm like, I should go to bed. But then it's there's streaming going on really late, even though long after I'm supposed to be asleep. Sometimes I'll, I'll hang in and watch, even though I shouldn't. I've seen a lot of No Life streams the same way, even though he comes on late. I, I'm just tempted to, once I get watching something, I don't want to stop. Kind of like when I play a game, I don't want to stop. I'm the same way about watching stuff. All right, I'm losing all my health already on this stupid guy but before we even get to the boss. But I do like this game for you guys wondering. I'm just really conflicted on how to win this boss fight up here. I, I have not, not a clue. I even had extra health twice during that boss fight, and I wasn't able to do it. All right, charge up the attack. All right, there we go. The axe charges on its own. You don't have to hit a button to do that. And when it's at full power, it does massive damage. See, we can one-shot those dudes. We do need more time in the day. I know. There's not enough. Somebody's beating Zelda 2 with you, Force? Sounds like something I need to do because I love Zelda 2 so freaking much. It's like my favorite game of all time. I'm not dehydrated. I'm good. I am bad about, like, not keeping myself hydrated, though. I, I hate taking breaks. I hate stopping doing anything. I don't want this guy where he is. Got him. Okay. Okay, that's points. Okay, what's this? All right, that's a big health thing. Okay, I'm not gonna screw this up again, am I? Mugwai has faith in me, maybe. Okay, well, that's that's better than not at all. Yeah, I'm only gonna talk about the U-Force from now on in here. Okay, well, you, maybe we need to actually do it then, Kremit. Let's do it. I also can't wait to bomb the Dongos. You want to play that, Goten? You want me to play that? What is that? Zelda CDI Wand of Gamelon? You want to play that? We'll play it sometime. Why the hell not? You'll get it mixed. You always do. I don't know about this one, Jax. I'm not very confident. I'm not confident. In this one, I, we haven't figured out anything with this fight. I just start hitting buttons and hope stuff happens. That's not the way you win, obviously. Breeze, what's going on? Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. What is up, dude? <laughs> you killed me good. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to see that coffee? You want to play that? Anyone know if Mixers try the adventures of Bayou Billy? It's on my list to play. I don't want to play it, but I, we will, Hobo. So hang in there, and you'll see it. I'm dreading that game. I rented that when I was a kid, and I hated it. But uh, you know what that means? That's the game we have to come back to and beat, because that's a, that's a childhood demon that's just got to go. All right, so what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? I want to break these totems so I accidentally don't hit one in the middle of the fight. But God! Everything's wrong! I picked up the health too early and I lost my big swing. It's freaking over. Oh yeah, that's gonna help. That's one hit point. And I missed my big swing. I I'm done. I, I have not a clue, dude. <laughs> like everything that could go wrong went wrong right there. I didn't land a big swing and, and then they knocked me into the health when I didn't even need it. So absolute disaster right there. Okay. Could only get better from here. <laughs> You're excited to see Bayou Billy? I bet you are. It's going to be like another King's Night playthrough. It's going to be awful. I Bayou Billy as a kid never beat the first stage. <laughs> No life. I remember you beat Bayou Billy. This was like six or seven months ago, but I remember you beating it. I didn't see how it ended. I saw some of the other levels, like the driving stage and things like that. I didn't see how it concluded, but I did hear that you beat it. That's amazing. I bet almost nobody has beaten Bayou Billy. We're going to play it, though, so just, just wait. We'll get there. 
I don't want... Should it be a jank... Re no, if I ask you guys if it should be a jank redemption, you'll say no. You'll just tell me, to no, just go ahead and play it. It, it should be an expensive jank redemption, though, because that's, that's not a good game. And I, I'm concerned about it. I don't think I beat the first stage as a kid, either. You, you, the enemies just beat the living crap out of you. There's nothing you can do. Okay, I think I might have really botched this up. Okay, no, we're fine. I see, I scrolled the screen up, and I couldn't see where the monkey hole was anymore, but we're good. Learned from Captain N how to beat Bayou Billy. Was there an episode based on that? I think there was. I want to say, I haven't seen Captain N in forever, but I think there was one episode based on that. It, it, did it give any hints to the game, or was it just like he was interacting with Bayou Billy, who's basically Crocodile Dundee from that old movie series? Beat Bayou Billy with a game genie, Morgan. There you go. There you go. No, not with you, Force. If you have a weapon at the end, it isn't that bad. I, I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm dreading it. I'm really dreading it. Yep, no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Makes sense. Fabled, what's going on? Sail Cat, what's going on? Monkey holes at the back of the monkey? No, I fell in the monkey hole earlier and I died horribly. I'm trying to avoid that fate again. I never beat that game. We all need to play Bayou Billy, am I right? Do we have Conker's Bad Fur Day? I do, Megami, but I don't like 3D games. <laughs> I don't like 3D games at all, so I try and stay away from that. I think it took me less than two hours start to finish. Okay, so great. Great! So now I have a, 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 I got, I got a time to live up to. <laughs> And I think he realizes it's on a much higher plane than everyone. That's what I was thinking, Ren. I can't compare my playthrough. No Life beats everything way too fast. I don't get it. H how do you do it, No Life? You would have already beaten this by now. <laughs> and I'm stuck on these spear guys and I have no clue what to do. All right, at least maybe let me get my health back before this fight starts again. I'm, I'm going to run out of continues. You know, we need to get here with more lives, too. That'll help me figure it out. I do have Conker's Bad Fur Day, but I've never actually tried to play through it before simply because I don't like 3D games. What if I jump attack them? If I tried that, I think they just block me if I do that. You know what? Being surrounded is probably also not helping. They block my attacks, dude. What the hell do you do with this fight? I don't have a clue, man. I don't have a freaking clue. That didn't work either. It was working better than ducking, I suppose. I'll we'll, we'll go again. We'll go again. It's fine. At least if we run out of continues, we know how to get back to this easily. At least that'll happen. All right, I'm powered up. We're good. Man, this fight sucks! I don't know what to freaking do! <laughs> I, I've tried everything at this point. Just one shot at the spider, that was pretty awesome. I've, I've seen Conkers played before, though. I know I'm familiar with the game. I just never actually tried to play it myself simply because it's a 3D game. I mean, getting me to play Mario 64 was a big deal, but like going beyond that, that that's going to be an even bigger deal. Because, see, when you go into 3D territory, it starts feeling too modern for me. I, I know, the game's like 25 years old, I know. But the, to me, it still feels modern simply because I wasn't active in video games much in that era. I kind of checked out when the whole 3D thing started. I was like, yeah, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. I don't like the direction this is going, so I, I was moving on. Honestly, though, I had a lot of... Uh, I uh, didn't have much free time during that time period anyway. I was finishing up high school, and I was just getting into college, and I, I was very busy. But even still, even if I wasn't, I wouldn't have enjoyed 3D that much anyway. So I had a bad experience with Ocarina of Time. You guys know the drill. Spirit Buddy, what's going on? How you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I got Conkers in, in, in 64. I'm too lazy to wait money as, as of now. If you never played it either, Grick. You not played it either? 3D is scary. I just don't like it. I think it's jank. <laughs> I just don't like it. I, I don't think that it's much fun. But like I said, though, I really enjoyed Mario 64. I had fun with that. All right, how are we going to win this? How are we going to win? I'm going to go like this. All 
All right, let's get him on one side. I'm waiting. I killed him! All right. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Health. No! Yes! We did it! I don't know if I can do it again, though. <laughs> All right, that's level four. That's level four. How much? I don't know how many more levels there are. I have not a clue. Not a clue. But what? What we're, we beat the? We beat the level. I don't know what we're up against here. There's another one of these guys. There, the, uh, uh, th there's another one. Oh, no! no! Really? And thank you, Angry, for the 50 bits, dude. I appreciate it very much. And Lorraine, thank you for the 80 bits. And Coffee, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Angry Lorraine Coffee, I really appreciate the bits very much. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have to fight this guy again. I thought we were done. <laughs> no, we don't need to do any hype trains, none of that stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. They've downgraded the boss into a normal enemy, so I guess we're going to be dealing with these guys for the rest of the game now. Great. Thank you very much for the bits, guys. I really appreciate it. Did that hit the guy's spear or did it hit the guy? I think it hit the spear. All right, so the jump attacks kind of work decently on these guys. I don't know if that actually hit him or not. I think it did. All right, come on. It's a duel. He dodged my attack. Okay, that's fine. There's no time limit. I don't have to hurry. Y what? Get absolutely destroyed. Thank you for the GG's, guys. I appreciate it. So, okay, what you do here, you charge up the weapon. But here's the problem. You can't do that in the boss fight because there's two of them. You need to get on one side really quickly and you, or you don't have a chance in that fight. I mean, at least we got through it. I'm not going to probably finish the game. I don't even know how many more levels there are. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. Wow. I'm glad I didn't jump right away right there. <laughs> can I destroy the guy's weapon? I can. Okay. I'm just trying to get away from the hole before we get knocked into it. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Really? Yeah. Oh, now I'm not going to be upgraded to fight this dude! It might not matter. Maybe we can handle him anyway. Is he blocking my hits? Dude. Wow! What?! No. Oh, I'm dead now. I can't he I can't kill him. Okay, so if you die here, you're dead. Okay, I got him. All right, let me get my axe power up back. That would be great. Cuz I'm I'm like helpless without. It's like Gradius. I took a death. Now it's almost like game over. All right, well at least they gave it back to me. How about some health? Dude. No! There's no way. I have no idea. I have not a clue how we're going to deal with this. None whatsoever. Now I'm weak again. So we have to kill the spear dude again with a weak weapon.
What if I just don't fight him? <laughs> ah, yes! We don't have to fight him! I'm just gonna run away! <laughs> and I didn't get a power-up. Great. They didn't give me a power-up that time. Wonderful. So that's RNG. Brigand, what's going on? This is a good game, but it's hard. It's really hard. I'm having a tough time. All right, so you want fast attacks on these guys. Brigand, how you doing today, man? You can do it, Mixer's just Castlevania enemies. Yeah, but this is, this is not Castlevania. <laughs> this is a new playthrough. I'm not used to this game. Completely different. Don't you dare. Okay, there we go. Really? The, the difficulty has just gone astronomically higher. Alright, so fast attacks are better against these dudes and charge. How many more of these are we going to have to fight? Alright, well at least we're getting somewhere now. At least we're getting somewhere. No more of these guys, please. Get, let me at least get my weapon charged back up in case we have to fight the spear dudes again. Brigand, how you doing today, man? Is Fester's Quest on the list? Or I beat that Deathless with, without Turbo. I'm never playing Fester's Quest again. I hate that game. I absolutely despise it. It's one of my least favorite games of all time. Makes me change his mind about this game. Jax is getting really hard and trolly. The, uh, the earlier levels in this game are not very hard, but th you get to this part, and things are much different now. I... Yeah, oh. Okay. Okay, that's not going to respawn, right? Can I go in there? No. Is that going to happen again? Yes. Okay. Alright, so if we charge up... Perfect. Okay, drop health. Drop something. Nothing. You'll get nothing and like it! That's how that's going to go. There we go. Watch some of your uh, Fester's Quest clips with my cousin earlier. Uh, we laughed a lot. I'm sure you enjoyed that. Vanilla. Wow! There's another one. Okay, that's three. That's three. That's a big-ass monkey. You're not wrong, buddy. You're not wrong. This is a stiff control. It reminds me of Castlevania, though. At least you can change direction in midair. That's a big positive from it. You're not locked into a jump. But yeah, the controls, they're not perfect, but they're not bad either. I've, I've definitely played games with worse controls, but they are a little bit stiff. That's a good way to look at it. This guy again? I hate these guys! God, okay, if you full power hits, though, absolutely destroy them. All right, let's try and bait this guy into throwing the rock. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, so I'm, I'm not, obviously I'm not going to beat the game on this run, which is fine, but we have learned a lot. We know how to at least get back to this point. Right now, it's get as far as you can, learn as much as you can, and hopefully the next run will be better. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, they, they should have had this guy throwing barrels, and that would have been perfect. Another one of these spear warriors. Great. All right. If you're full axe power, you can... Is there power-ups up there? There's hidden power-ups up there. I could see them when I hit the guy with the with a big shot. Watch. So you can see that hidden behind the wall right there. There's stuff back there. Nice. What is this final fight? Hiding stuff behind podiums? Capcom games do that all the time. Here you're cosplaying this character mixer. No, no, you are Spade. You are. <laughs> not me. Definitely not. This guy's wearing uh. Is speedos and carrying a hatchet. That's that's the cosplay for this dude. Speedos and a hatchet. <laughs> if they had him throwing barrels, they'd have lawsuits. Probably not. I mean, it, it's a gorilla throwing a barrel. Nintendo would have to prove that they have a license on all gorillas and barrels, and I don't think they could do that. That would not stand up in a court of law, I don't think. I could be wrong, but I'm just taking a guess here. Spade, how you doing today, man? You ready for more Street Fighter? You put a put a good round on me yesterday with Sagat. I'm kind of concerned, but I got a plan. I got a plan. Everything will be fine. You're not beating me. Don't think you are. All right, well, this is the next section of this level. Looks like it's just a straight path. Doesn't...
Oh, no, not this crap. What? You know what? You don't have to fight stuff. Maybe we should just run sometimes. That, that would have been a bad fight to be in right there. Eight throwing barrels copyrighted. They couldn't do that, Dragon, could they? Almost had one round, dude. I'll get there. We'll see. You did do very well. We'll see, we'll see if that was either a fluke or you're getting a lot better. We will know soon enough, sir. We don't have to axe the door down. This is not Conquest of the Crystal Palace. That's not a thing. That is... What is this? Oh, no! <laughs> I was about to say, am I dead here? Am I going to die here? I guess not. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. I thought I was dead. Doing Street Fighter today? Uh, probably not. We'll do it when there's like extra time at the end of a stream. This, I'm assuming that either this game's going to take up the whole stream or uh, they're probably... I, I don't even know if we're going to have time to beat this today. This, this is looking like it's going to be a tough playthrough. But we have I don't know how many levels this game has either. So we might be close to the end or we might be a long way from the end. I have no idea. But yeah, Street Fighter is a good way to fill in some extra time when I have it. Be courageous or Cloud, what's up, man? I'm trying. I'm trying, but I, I, like I said, I do like this game. This is a good one. This is good. I wonder if, if I... I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if I had stayed up... You know what? See, you know what? Now I'm kind of worried because... Uh, haven't we been in this room? Is this a, No, we have not been in this room. This is different. I was about to say, this better not be a maze. It better not be. Am I going to have to break out pencil and paper? I mean, I will if I have to to get through it, but I, I'm hoping it's not. All right, now you got a full, either full hit or nothing with this game. See, it's so much better. All right, I could. This, this is where I fell last time. And there's stuff down here. Okay, this is different. I don't know if you're supposed to fall here. I have no, not a clue. Just guessing. Alright, this is new. We're going somewhere different. Nintendo can be very strict with copyrights and streaming their games online. I have gotten copyright strikes a couple of times on streaming Nintendo games that have uh, have very well-known music. It's not like anything negative. I think it, it, it's it's you can't monetize the video or something on YouTube. I think that's the way it would work. But no, I haven't gotten in trouble for it or anything. But it does put up copyright on there. Not like I'm... Oh gosh, this? Really? This again? You're gonna make me do this boss again? Really, game? You just couldn't resist, could you? What if we just not fight it? No. <laughs> I don't wanna, oh, it follows you. Oh, no. Really? Okay. It follows you. I have no idea where I'm going. Let me guess, this went back to the beginning. Okay, this is different. Let's not fall down the hole this time. Is there going to be anything here? Hopefully some health. Alright, well that's better than nothing. I will take it! I will take it! I'm, I'm really concerned about this. This looks kind of like a maze. Yeah, I think we've been in this room already. I, I'm going to have to... No. Don't you do that! Don't you do it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I don't have room. Oh, gosh. Oh, bad. That's really awful. I, I can't move. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. All right. Am I back at the beginning? I don't even know if this was not the... This is not even the beginning. This is not good at all. Okay, was this where health was a second ago? Yeah, now I don't need anything. Yeah, now they give me... Oh, that is full health right there, and I didn't need, need a bit of it. Great. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Like I said, I'm in trouble.
Alright. Uh, ouch. Ouch. Okay, I was going in a circle there, obviously. I was going... I'm going to start taking notes on this. I'm going to start taking... When we get back to that, I'm going to take notes. It's going to happen. Uh, 1 of 10, and would you rate this game so far? I give it an 8 out of 10 so far, because I like it. But we're going to have to figure out how to do that level, for sure. Uh, we can get back there fairly quickly. These early stages of the game are not bad at all. I can't really afford to lose lives, though. We need to get there with maximum amount of lives. Yeah, Kremit, I noticed that up in the corner where it said what zone I was in. It had A, B, C, and D going, and that is what I'm going to have to, like, pay attention to when I get through it next time. I'm going to write down, like, what, like, a pathway or something, like room A to room B, C to D, E to F, like, and then that way I should be able to figure out which path we need to take. That's what I'm going to do next time when we get back to that. I didn't know it was going to be a maze. I, I was hoping it was not going to be, but it looks like it is. So, yep, we're going to have to take notes, which is fine. I'm good with that. I'm 100% okay. I didn't expect a maze in this game. That's the last thing I was expecting. But, you know, sometimes a game does that. Here's a good example, too. Who's played Monster Party on the Nintendo? Who's played that? That had mazes in it. Uh, actually, a really bad maze level at the end of the game that just came out of nowhere. And I was like, uh, what is going on here? Are you kidding me right now? See, I had to draw a gigantic map of that huge maze in Monster Party. And it was not exactly edge-of-your-seat content. But I, I like that game, though. I did like the game. It, it was a good game. I just, that maze level drove me a little bit insane. We should be able to get back there, no problem, though. Like I said, though, good game. Good game. Very good game here. It's giving me a chance to figure it out. The knockback is nasty! Never got that far in Monster Party. It turns into a... There's a horrifying maze level, Wolf. I won't spoil how to get through it, though. You'll have to stream it sometime. It'll be a good... It's a good game to stream through. I, people had recommended it to me for a while, and I, I had never played it before, and I was like, yeah, this is cool, we were doing fine, everything was going great, and then the psychotic maze level shows up, and I'm like, are you kidding me right now with this? Yep, that's what, how it went. <laughs> I could not believe it. Because it was not a simple maze either. And I had to, like, fill a whole sheet of paper with instructions on how to get through it. All right, we got bears to put up with. This fight was not that bad last time. All right, you can interrupt their jump with your own. All right, so that's... Oh, you did a double jump. That's cheating. You know, there probably any JRPGs on stream. Chances are low with that, Vanilla, because those are the only games my girlfriend really loves are JRPGs. So we usually save all those for off-stream. We're so far behind on the backlog. We could be playing our JRPGs for the next two years off stream and still have like 50 more to get through. I, I think I'm going to be playing them for the rest of my life, which I have no problem with. I love JRPGs, but there's so many to do and get through. It, it just almost feels hopeless of ever finishing them all. There's not enough time in life. That's the my major complaint is there's just not enough time in life. 24 hours in a day is not anywhere close to good enough. Each day should be like 48 hours at the minimum. Of course, if that was going on, then you'd be working 24 hours a day. So I don't know if that would be good or not. Work takes up too much damn time. That's the problem. In the future, when robots do all the work, we won't be having this problem. But right now, we do. So, yeah. D I know, right, Wolf? Goddamn. Goddamn work. That's the one where you go in the room, there's a monster, but he just says, sorry, I'm already dead, and you just leave, right? That is it, yo-yo. That's it. That is it. I, monster Party was a, like, a very unique experience to play through. It had some very trolly moments, some very funny moments. It had monsters dancing that you weren't even supposed to kill, but I sat there and beat the crap out of them for like 30 minutes straight, because that's what I do. If, an, if something is moving in a video game, I hit it until it stops moving. I don't watch things dance, and that's how you won that fight. Who was here and remembers that? That was in October. It was really silly, but it happened. Watch us dance or something, they said, and I didn't want to, so I just kept hitting them and nothing happened. 
game backlog you have only got a handful of games to play but i never catch up i'm too busy watching twitch retro i do the same thing i do the same it's a lot of fun watching other people play games too you never could have convinced me of that when i was younger why am i watching someone playing a game when i could play it myself see my dad asked the same question when i told him about streaming originally why not just play the game yourself why are you watching someone else play it and i was like dad it's it's more than that you you can interact with the streamer you can actually get to know people it, it, it's like a community and he was like, oh, see, he didn't get that. But see, most people don't when they first learn about streaming. I didn't know about it. I didn't know about anything. My first stream I watched was a disaster. It was some guy with 10,000 viewers watering his crops in Minecraft. And I was wondering what the hell the significance or point of it even was. I was like, why, are, why does anyone even care about this? A guy watering crops in Minecraft. What the freaking do? What? Why? Why is this important? Why are people watching this? Those are the questions I had. This is Minecraft. Wow. It was like the most boring thing I'd ever seen in my life. I, I didn't get it. I got it later on. But I mean, like, my first experience there was just bad. I didn't get it. Work culture is what has to change. It does, Botane. It does. Just working for most of your life, it, 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 it's awful. It's awful! It won't be that way in the future, but I mean, we were born too early. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we were born too early. The machines will take over and do all the work one day, but we're not there yet. We will be, though. I, I bet we will. I mean, even fast food restaurants and stuff now are trying to do, like, full 100% automation. Big deal! And so what? It'll replace jobs. Who cares? Move on. Move on. That's all that matters, just moving on. Justin TV was a dumb idea, didn't click until it became Twitch TV. Yeah, uh, who was here for Justin TV? Which is what Twitch actually was back in the day. <laughs> That's what it was like 12 years ago. Skynet says move on. We'll just have to accept our new robotic overlords. That's fine. That's fine. Totally okay. That future could happen. Who knows? Nobody knows right now. Would it really be all that bad compared to work culture? <laughs> Look at it like that. I, for one, welcome our robot overlords. Me too, Neff. Why not? Why not? How bad could it be? I'm just kidding. I don't know what, anything about any of this. It's just speculation. It's fun to think about. Restaurants are short staff anyway, so the robots won't be taking many jobs from people. You're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. People who don't want to work anymore. Joke's on you. We never did. Yeah, I didn't want to work when I was five years old going to kindergarten. I was like, well, why am I doing finger, finger painting? I want to go home and play Atari. <laughs> that was my first thoughts when I was going to kindergarten as a kid. I don't want to be here. Why am I have to be here? I don't want to do finger painting. I don't want to make a collage out of noodles. I want to go home and play Dragon Fire on the Atari 2600. That, well, I do, I'm done. I, I thought I could just walk out of school back in the day. You can't do that. <laughs> Kindergarten was brutal. I know. it was. I had a really awful teacher, too. I got off to a terrible start in school. I had, like, the worst teacher you could ever have for kindergarten. She was just mean and rotten, and I haven't forgiven her yet. And, but after that, things picked up, and I, I actually started liking school. I know that sounds like insane, but I, I did. I enjoyed my time in school. I, I didn't enjoy my time in college. I thought that was really just boring. I was bored out of my freaking mind in college. They tell you college is one of the best times of your life. Well, guess what? All it was to me was just a bunch of work. I almost died to that butterfly. That would have been really stupid. That would have been idiotic. And everybody would have been like, Ha, Mixer, you died to a butterfly. You suck. And I would have been like, Yep, you, you know what? You're right. Absolutely right. Crash, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Who said the robot overlords would keep us around? Well, if they don't, they don't. I mean, it's not like we'll, we'll be in control by that point anyway. <laughs> None of us will live long enough to see it. So, so, like, it's all speculation, but I mean, who knows what can happen? Who knows? Things could get better, things could get worse. It, it's pointless to speculate, because, I mean, that's what's going to be like 200 years in the future. I don't know. The way robot development's going, it could be 50 years. 
who I love technology though. I keep up with uh, like advanced technology, the robots at MIT, Boston Dynamics. They look freaking awesome. They, they I mean, they're making leaps and bounds. Corvus, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing today? Remember being really angry in college? Uh, you wouldn't be the only one, even though that co it's supposed to be the best time of your life, college. How are you supposed to party in college when there's so much work to do? That's my question. Because I always heard that. You're going to have so much fun in college. Well, I didn't have any fun. All I did was work my ass off. <laughs> it was awful. I had no free time. I, I hated those days. I didn't hate them. I mean... I just, there was like no time to have any fun. I have more free time now than I did then. I don't have a ton now. These blue guys are really starting to piss me off. They don't do much damage, but they're annoying the crap out of me. I guess they're better than those spear guys. I could be dealing with something much worse. Corvus, hope you're having a good day. Welcome in. Even grad school was even worse. I remember miserable 90% of the time. Yep. Me too, man. Me too. I was so bored in college, I didn't finish. <laughs> totally understandable as well, Brigand. I, I completely get that, man. I, I just don't see why people, how people enjoyed college. I guess if you're a rich person and you go to college for the sake of partying and not caring about getting good grades or anything, yeah, then maybe you'll have a good time if you're not there to actually do work. Maybe that's how people had fun there. I don't know. But I had no fun there at all. I mean, I lived at home when I went to college. That might have been part of it, but I didn't want to live in a dorm with some idiot I didn't know. I would have hated that. No, bear, you're not winning. Okay, I got you. You gonna drop loot? Nope, you gonna drop nothing. You a caveman in this game? You're some You're some guy trying to rescue his girlfriend. It's probably based on Tarzan, your girl. It's probably very, very, that's probably what they took the inspiration from, would be my guess. Cheating ass bear, you can't jump when you're already in the air. Who do you think you are? Arthur from Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Trying to pull some of that crap? Clear the odd one out. I enjoyed and loved my time in college. I don't. How did you do that, Edge Master? I'm legit wondering how you managed to enjoy it. Because there is so much work to do, it just seemed impossible. I have nightmares about waking up and realizing I forgot to go to any of the classes and I was late for my finals. I have those nightmares as well, dude. I think we all do if we've, if we've ever experienced college. Now, they told you like the AP classes in high school, which I took, were to prepare you for college. They didn't prepare me. <laughs> I, I, I got no preparation. None. Whatsoever. I got there and I was like, God damn, how are you supposed to do all this work? Of course, I was playing EverQuest offline as well, um, online as well during that time. I probably could have put more time into college than I did. And I mean, it, it, it worked out, but I, I mean, still, it, it could have been a better experience. Did I make this last time? I made this jump, like, by doing that. Okay, see, I'm not that bad at this game. We had Deathless Run working, by the way. Hopefully, it'll stay that way. By this point, last time, I'd already died, like, three or four times, so we're doing a lot better than we were last run. I had fun on the weekends in college. I didn't even have time to do that. I had time to do more work. <laughs> more freaking work. More term papers, more reports, more of all kinds of more bullshit to do. It, it was never ending. And the University of Alabama is right here in my hometown, so I didn't have to live in a dorm. I just lived at home and drove to campus every day, which is like 10 miles from where I am right now. That, that's kind of the claim to fame of this state is the University of Alabama, and it's right here in my town. So that was kind of easy for me to do. Which I, and I would have preferred it that way. I would have, I, I, I couldn't have worked with a living in a dorm with some idiot. I would have been so distracted and miserable. Wouldn't have worked. But I hear that's also how you have fun too, but. There was no time for fun. Depends on what your major is. That's a good point. That's a good point. I just did business degree, and I don't even use that. EverQuest and Counter-Strike, two staples of college. Crash, it's funny. I, I wish we had played EverQuest together. We would have done well. Tilty, you said you played EverQuest as well also. See, a lot of people played it, but didn't know at the time. Didn't know what like what type of game it was going to turn out to be, and it, it was a masterpiece of a game back in the day. I I miss it, but I also would never do it again. It was so time consuming. 
I talk about that being time consuming and college being too time consuming. Maybe I was my own problem. Uh, let me catch up with you guys real quick. I'm falling behind. Directrix, what's going on? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Parents must have had fun in college, but things change. Yep. My dad had fun in college. He talked about all kinds of uh, good times he had. Well, I get to keep my 401k. That's up to the robots, Corvus. Absolutely. <laughs> that means probably not, right? Robots machines working for us is all fun and games. They try to exterminate us. You guys have seen too much freaking Terminator. That's not going to happen. Anytime somebody talks about like the robots taking over, it's always the, the Terminator future. What if that doesn't happen? What if we have benevolent robots that just work? and don't do anything else. What about no one ever talks about that? L let's hope for the best. Skynet is just a one of many possibilities. I I'm doing good, by the way. Look how good I am at this. I'm, I'm doing freaking awesome. We haven't died yet. We're gonna need all the lives we can get for that maze level. And I'm gonna die to those spear guys again, because obviously I wasn't very good at that fight. Like, the, we, what if we actually are in the Matrix? That, that's a possibility, too. This could all be one grand experiment where our energy is being drained. That could be happening. There's an item down there. I'm going to try and get it. I don't know what that even was. Is that a one-up? What is this? That would be good power-ups. Okay, I got to remember where that is because that was really useful. That was actually freaking awesome. Now, can I get out of here? So we can jump back up this. Hey, Wolf! Remember that part in Werewolf the Last Warrior? <laughs> Who's played Werewolf the Last Warrior and is having flashbacks of getting knocked off by a jetpack guy or a fish? <laughs> At least there's that. Terminator Future happened even in Power Rangers. They had children suffering from radiation poisoning. I haven't seen enough Power Rangers to even know that. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, crap. What's going on? Dude, I was a high elf wizard. I loved EQ. A high elf wizard, Lorraine. What a great choice. I was a human monk. That, that was my class in EverQuest. Was I was a human monk. And I was freaking awesome back in the day. I, I'm bragging on myself. I was good. I, I was just average. J.I., what's going on? Thank you for the, wow, five gift subs, buddy. Pixel Crash, Golden Shower, literally random hero and clog monster. If you just got a gift sub from J.I., that gift sub bomb, I would appreciate if you thanked him very much. J.I., thank you very much, dude. That's insane. That is insanity, sir. And I appreciate it very much. Wow. <laughs> That's nuts. I'm still mad at those jetpack men, smart and tart. I haven't forgotten that. Don't think I ever will. <laughs> I was having a terrible rant that day about jetpack guys. Dark Elf Necromancer for me on EQ. I had one as an alt character and it was fun. I didn't like all the faction problems they had though. That was a bit of an issue. Oh, this thing again. Holy God. All right deal with this guy again. We, we kind of know how to do it. Yes. All right, you got to this is a this is a fight where you use patience. That means I'm like extra good at it. Don't remind you wolf. I'm sorry I brought that up. <laughs> it is traumatizing, I know. It was for me as well. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> At least we, like I said, at least we know what to do with this fight. You just wait it out and we'll be good. Quality streams deserve sub bombs, dude. I appreciate it, man. I don't feel like I deserve it, but I'm, I, I, I'm so blown away by any, like, anyone that's ever even here. I, I streamed a year, I streamed for a year and a half with an average viewers of like two or three. So anytime anyone's even in my channel, it's just absolutely amazing to me. I, I will always be very appreciative. That's points, dude. That's not health. I took some hits to get some points, really. Orc 1. Monica's played EQ as well. Oh my god, yeah. Let's, let's get a group up at Orc 1. <laughs> In the eastern common lands, am I right? God, I miss that game so much. Game was like more addicting than... Uh, what's addicting stuff? Heroin? Yeah, EverQuest. Heroin's got nothing on freaking EverQuest. 
Chat loves me. Well, I, I am. I don't deserve it, Zooey, but I appreciate it very much. I think it still exists, Lorraine. They're probably on like expansion number twenty-three or something. It's not the same game anymore, obviously. It's actually hard and challenging to play. Wow, was so much easier. That's why I liked EQ way more than World of Warcraft. My uh, memories, I did play a lot of both, but I preferred EverQuest much more to World of Warcraft, even though they're, they're, it's a good game. I just had more fun in EQ. But WoW had its moments as well. Second, I thought Mixer was going to say I don't love the chat. I love you guys more than anything. <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome and have made my life a lot more fun, I can tell you that much. I, I didn't know what I was missing with streaming, honestly. I was missing quite a bit. What am I doing wrong? I won this fight last time! And I'm gonna win it again. Maybe I need to be more patient. That's probably the problem. We'll wait it out. JWK, thank you, dude. Thank you. You love me enough to do a deathless run of Ocarina of Time? That's asking. That's, that's torture. Why would you want to torture me, spirit buddy? That's, that's just torture. Why? I like having fun. I like fun. There's nothing fun about Ocarina of Time. Oh, I missed a switch. I can't do anything till I find the switch hidden in the corner of a dungeon under a bush. And if you don't get that switch, you can't play anymore in the game. The game is over. Yes, I'm a little bit salty from my time as a teenager because that act, that is a true story. That happened. I was stuck for months. And then I was done. And then I, I was never playing that game again, and, and things have gone much better since. Sean, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today, buddy? Raven, same for you. Welcome in. We're playing some legendary acts. It's going great this time. I'm doing a deathless run. No, not really. But I haven't died yet, and we're already up to this level, so things are going well. Sean, hope you're doing well, man. You not streaming today? That Chrono Trigger playthrough is going well. You might have already finished it. I think you did, actually. I think you're done. I love Chrono Trigger. It's a good game. Not my favorite SNES RPG, but it's a good one. Really good. Meows, welcome in. Hope you're doing well also. Ocarina was awesome in 1998. That's when I got it, and I hated it. <laughs> I hate that game. For you guys that don't know or maybe knew, I, I freaking hate Ocarina of Time. I, we've been down this road a lot, but I don't like that game. I got stuck when I was 17. I've never forgiven it. I may never forgive it. I, I may just ha hold hatred in my heart for the rest of my life for that game. I, I don't like getting stuck. I'd rather be stuck on a hard boss fight than stuck of missing a switch. Maybe late night action? So you're going to be on this evening? You're going to continue onward, Sean? Sean, have you ever played this? I, I recommend this game. This is a good platformer. I know you like platformers and stuff, too. This is a really good one. It, it's a bit trolly in some parts. It's got bad knockback. <laughs> you know how knockback works in a game like this? All right, there's not going to be water there. Okay. okay we're going to jump over this. All right, it's... it's uh. This is a Jungle Hunt now from Atari 2600, who's played Jungle Hunt, knows what I'm talking about. Really good game. Nice. Okay, we can't die here. Uh, we're doing Deathless Run. No, not really. But I am still Deathless deep into the game, so I can't complain too much. Quirky, how's it going today? Hope you're doing good. Need to come to terms with the fact you're very entertained and engaging mates, so otherwise no one would likely be here. I'm shocked anyone's ever here still quirky. I really am. I, I, that's why I'm very appreciative of having any viewers at all, because like I said, I stream for so long with almost no viewers that the fact you guys are here is just... It, I, I still have to pinch myself to even think that I actually have people here. <laughs> that's amazing to me, and... Uh, Naps Caps, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good day. Appreciate it, dude. Good to have you aboard. This eyeball's got to go. There it went. There it went. Mixer, you almost need a chat timer that says, hey, new folks. So you, just so you know, I hate Ocarina of Time, Sweet Tea, and Mudding, but I love my grits. Yeah, th people got to get to know me, right? I I'm a little bit strange with my what I like and what I don't like. I live in Alabama, and I pr practically hate everything popular here. That's always going to be a thing with me. 
but yeah, I love grits, but keep that goddamn sweet tea away from me, please. That That is disgusting swill, if there ever has been. Oh, tomatoes and ranch dressing. Get that out of here, too. Don't like any of that. Uh, what else do I not like? We've been, I don't really like coffee either, believe it or not. I, I know that sounds almost like sacrilegious to not like coffee, but I don't. I don't like hot drinks. I don't like hot chocolate either. Just give me some water or some fruit juice or something. Why do we need hot drinks? Oh, I don't drink alcohol either. That's another thing that's probably going to weird some people out, but I don't like that either. That's got extra calories that I don't need. That almost killed me. Okay. That almost killed me. No, yeah, I'm talking about the beverage coffee, not you. Just the beverage. Ocarina of Time on 3D on 3 made some major life changes, so it's easier. I still don't want to play it. I would rather be playing things like this anyway, so I mean, it's not like I'm missing anything. And yes, Ocarina of Time is like my, like my mortal enemy. It really is. Quirky, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is. It's the ultimate enemy of every stream, Monica. That's not going to change. First time I ever popped in here, only stayed a few seconds, and I came back a few months later and actually listened for a minute or two. No, I found a special place. I wish I'd given you more of a chance the first time I was here. What was I doing the first time you came here, Vanilla? What was I doing? What Did I do something to, like, make you leave? You were like, wow, this guy sucks. I'm out of here. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. Why am I here? <laughs> That's probably happened before. I mean, it's probably happened a lot. I'm fortunate to have found the people I know that do stream, that I that I watch frequently. I feel very fortunate to have found them. It's always fun to find new people out of the blue because, I mean, like, you're not going to like every streamer. Some people you're going to appreciate a lot more than others. No! I... God, my, my deathless run! <laughs> my, my, my deathless run! <laughs> You know what? I was worried about dying there the first time I got there, but I backed off the first time, but not that time. That's where it all went wrong. I think drinking alcohol is overrated. I think half the people do it just because they want to look cool to other people around them. I think that's what it is. Not that they actually enjoy it. It's because look what I'm doing. I can drink a beer. I, aren't I awesome? I swear to God, that's how most people feel. <laughs> look what I can do. Wow, you can do what billion other people can do. You're awesome. Great. People still worry about what others think of them, whether they're being perceived as popular or not. That's something you have to put behind you in high school. But I think some people still worry about doing that when they're freaking 80 years old. I mean, I'll still be griping about video games when I'm 80 years old. I'm probably not that much different when, when it comes down to it. I'll still be doing this stuff. What else am I going to do with my life? Probably nothing. The he what the hell else could I do? It's a Castlevania death, if ever. I, I, it was almost telegraphed, Culep. I saw it coming like a mile away, and it still happened. Simply because it was just knocked back. All right, these guys, you can kind of stun lock them. That eyeball, I'm going to have to be more prepared for. It's going to show up again. Can we just knock this guy in the hole? That, that would be freaking awesome. Legendary Axe 2, full license. What's going on? Yeah, we'll probably play the sequel to this. I don't know if it's better or worse or what, but I'm sure we'll check it out sometime. I do like this game. I think it's a good game. Caleb, it's going good, man. It's going pretty good. I just took a death, though. I, I was trying to do this deathless, and we made it all the way back to this is level four deathless. That's pretty good. I can't complain too much. I like the feeling of being drunk. Uh, you know, if you enjoy it, Sean, and you're not bothering anyone else, I got no problem with it. I, no, no problem at all. But there's a lot of people that do it because they think that their friend will like them more or something. And I think that's kind of ridiculous of people that think like that. But if you actually legit enjoy it, why not? Once in a while, I'll have a drink or two. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I have no problem with people that drink responsibly. None. Don't worry, I drink enough alcohol for both of us. See, there you go, no life. There you go. And, and guess what? I have not a problem with it. None whatsoever. And never will. As long as people aren't, like, doing something that hurts someone else, I don't care what people do. It's not my business. You know what? I'm going to die here because I'm not getting any health back. How about some health? Ask and you shall receive. Well, it's a little bit. It's better than nothing. And I get hit right away again. M M uh, MBD, what's going on? I did beat King's Knight. I did. Mixer Straight Edge. 
Well, you know why that is, Neff? Because I was deeply involved with sports and stuff back in high school, and we were drug tested for practically like everything under the sun, and I just stuck with that. I, I just kept on going. I didn't change my lifestyle. Stupid eye, you almost did it to me again. See, that time I was ready, though. I was ready. Don't do it again, though. No more eye spawns. I, th I think... Okay, I knew something was going to happen there. And, uh, moths or butterflies, whatever the hell those are. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I made it! Being straight in, somebody makes her still looks 22, even in his 40s. Hey, if it works, it works, right? I don't know if that's the reason why, but it could be. Davey, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. How you doing today? Weed better than booze? Hey, if, if it works for you, Tilty, I'm good with it. I'm all good with it. See, I don't use weed or marijuana. I, I don't use it, whatever you want to call it. But it's not even legal here in Alabama. So even if I wanted to use it, I couldn't do it. Because this state knows what's best for you. <laughs> That's how they feel here. This state knows what's best for you. Actually, that... What?! How did that happen? I made that jump! Bullshit! Oh my god, uh-oh. <laughs> the wheels are starting to come off here with this platforming. Alright, let's, let's keep going. Effley, what's going on? wonder if you were rage if it was still legal there. Yes, I would. And th th I, I would. That, that's something I would have to do. They can't tell me not to rage. I mean, it is Alabama. They might pass a law tomorrow that says you can't do that. In the, in the name of freedom, they'll do that. We're restricting your freedoms by telling you you have more freedom. That, that's life in Alabama. <laughs> it's always been that way. It's not going to change anytime soon. I gripe about it all I want to. It's not going to get any better. Recreational is legal here. It's not here. It's I don't even think medical is legal here. <laughs> Because it's an evil substance, they think. Dude, this is a state that tried to freaking ban Harry Potter because they thought it was evil content. It's got witch witches and wizards. They might try and summon Satan or some bullshit. I'm not making that up. That's actually been said here in Alabama. I'm not making that up. That's a true story. Look it up. It's on Google. You'll find stuff. Trying to ban freaking Harry Potter. It is what it is. If you've lived here all your life, you you would just see it as normal stuff. I do. I still roll my eyes at it, but I mean, it, it's, it's true. It's freaking true. These, these things are annoying. All right, is there any hidden stuff here? Rage police are coming. Good. Bring them on. Bring them on. I got no problem with explaining myself. I'm playing a platformer from the 16-bit era. I think they might get it. Or no, they won't get it, because this is Alabama. They'll be like, what is a video game? And I'll be like, it, it's something fun you play, and they won't understand that. They'll be like, why are you not driving a truck and mud riding? Why are you not doing that? That's what everyone else is doing. Why, why are you not? Don't you want to be popular? No, I don't. I like what I'm doing. I, I, I got to land some hits here. We're not going to make it. All right, there's going to be that eye thing right here. It didn't spawn. It didn't spawn again! What's the problem? Does it only sp Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, I can do it now. I know what I'm doing. It better not respawn. Don't you dare! You didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, this is going to be a disaster if that thing respawns. But in Vegas, the entire strip is like a giant weed cloud. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure! I don't doubt that. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, as they say, right? I've never been there before. It would be interesting to visit someday. You know what, though? If I visit Las Vegas... If I visit Las Vegas, the Alabama authorities will probably try and arrest me simply for the fact that I was going there and I might actually do some gambling. That could happen. That could happen. Dancing, I'm surprised that's still legal here, Culep. I mean, that could change tomorrow. But Hobo, thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it very much. You don't have to do that, but thank you. That is too kind. Way too kind that I don't deserve, but dude, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Glad you're having fun here. That's what matters to me. 
And I did it perfectly that time. See, it's not that hard. I, I should not have died there a minute ago. And it was right at the end of the stage, too. How idiotic was that? Oh, it's a monkey hole. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, we're back to the monkeys. Hey, hey, it's the monkeys. Who remembers that band? There was a band called the Monkees. I do remember that. They even had their own TV show back in the day. Davey, I hope you're having a good day, man. Hope all has been well with you. Everything's been pretty normal here. We're playing games and getting mad at them. I mean, <laughs> there's not much exactly new happening with me, right? Vegas is a fun town, but I'm ready to get out after three days, I'm sure. I, I'm sure it's a little bit exhausting go with things going on there. Even, I, it, from what I understand, prostitutes walk around and hand out cards with their number on it. I, I think that happens. God, if that happened in Alabama, I can't even imagine. I guess they would be shot on sight in this state. Can't even freaking imagine. The monkeys, Davy Jones is dreamy. <laughs> yeah, see, you have seen it before. Okay, so I'm not. I, that wasn't. It, they, they even had their own show back in the '80s. I, I remember that. Josie and the Pussycats cartoon. I remember that one too. That was another '60s or '70s show that I thought was new when I was a kid. Same with Scooby Doo and the Jetsons and all that stuff. If you haven't seen it, though, it's new to you. I always like to say that. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. Yep, I heard it. Heard it a million times. You like the Turbo Graphics Retro Fan? I do, too, from what little I've played of it. Yeah, I know it's got a lot of shmups, though, and I hate shmups. Those just drive me insane because I, I, don't, I don't find them fun. All right, we're back to those spear guys. They're, like, right up here. <laughs> Remember how well that went earlier, the spear guys? They're, like, right here. This guy just hit me with this club. All right, is this, here they come. Here they come. All right, we're ready for battle. This is the, by far the hardest part of the game so far was right here. First day for the uh, first chill day, uh, first time in a month between traveling and work. A chill day. You got to appreciate them when you can get them, man. They don't happen too often, do they, when you're doing the work life. You love the monkeys, Quirky? That's great. That's great. I, I, they're, aren't they a British group? I don't even know that much about them, but I just remember the cartoon coming on back in the day. Partridge Family, I remember that from back in the day as well. All this 80s and, well, actually, not really 80s. It's more like 70s stuff. I, I, I'm stalling, by the way, because I don't, want this, I don't want this fight to happen that's about to happen. I'm going to get ass-handed to me. That's how it goes. All right, let's just try and win, dude. Let's just go for the win. Go for the W. Okay, we're off to a pretty good start. Dead already! Holy shit! I'm full power! There's nothing you can do about this now. I am full power. Just absolutely get wrecked. Just get destroyed. Alright, I'm actually better at the game now. I can't believe it. I am good. <laughs> I'm actually good! Those guys killed me like 12 times earlier. I know how to fight them now. We're all good. Everything's wonderful. All right, but it doesn't get any easier. This is a hard level as well. We have monkeys to put up with, more spear guys, and then we have a, like a maze type level. So I don't know how much further this game's gonna go, but at least we're doing better now. That, I always read that in Andy's voice because he likes bringing up that a lot. <laughs> I can only hear that in Andy's voice. So, hey, shmups, even after uh, our type and tailspin? Absolutely, I cannot stand shmups. You know what? I like tailspin, though, Diggsy. Welcome in, Diggsy. I hope you're having a good day. I like tailspin. That was a good shmup. Why can't more shmups be like tailspin? That was actually fun. And you know what? It was easy. I beat it on the first try. One credit clear. That means it's too easy if it's a shmup, obviously, right? I can't get away with just liking that. All right, they're giving me a lot of health and stuff I don't even need. All right, there's going to be guys on the other side here. All right, so what we have to do is block one of their attacks and then jump over there and spam axe. Oh, wow. It was close. And, uh... 
YGY, what's going on, man? Yeah, Dr. Eggplant dropped off a gift sub bomb right as the stream was ending yesterday. That was amazing. Sir, you played UN Squadron. Thank you for reminding me, Wolf. I love UN Squadron. See, I don't hate every shmup. There are actually good ones. They're not all called Gradius. You don't actually fly some, a, a piece of shit like the Vic Viper in every game either. You know what? Baloo's plane and tailspin was way better than the Vic Viper. Baloo could shoot down that piece of crap anytime. I, I'm not even kidding about that. Okay, these guys are like on the edge now. How am I supposed to do this? I think I might have botched this up completely. I'm going to back off here and see if these guys will reset because I can't do anything when they're on the edge. This is going to die. Uh, if you like Thunder Force 3 and 4 now, uh, I've watched Mike 7A play Thunder Force or Lightning Force, they called that version. I don't like what I'm seeing from that at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I'm just trying to get forward so they can't push me off. If they hit me a couple of times, it's fine. I'm really struggling with this. This part sucks, dude. Alright. No! You're not getting me. I need health. Oh my god. No! No, you're not doing that. Okay, I, we gotta get health. Please be a lot of health here or I'm dead. That's a little bit. That's a lot. Alright, we, we got a fighting chance now. I'm just trying to get to the next checkpoint. 1943, I've got that on my list to play. I mean, we're I hate shmups, but we're going to keep playing them. I'm not going to be like, oh, I just will not play them anymore. No, we're going to keep playing them. I made it through our Super R-Type and R-Type 3 Loop 2. I think we can handle most stuff. I think. Don't quote me on that. Those were just not fun playthroughs. But I mean, beating something for the sake of beating it is also a thing. Strikers 1945 on Saturn is the one that got me into the genre. Is that, a, is that a fair one, or is it just a bullshit one like Gradius? I, I keep getting hit by these guys. Holy crap. Cheap shots. All right, they're giving me health back. See, th this game's really fair. All right, we're the, the, the apes show up here. If you don't have max axe power against these guys, I'm not sure what to do. I, I got cornered by one in the maze, and I died. No, no, I hit the jump button. I knew that was going to be there. I hit the jump button like half a second too late. It's fine. Much more fair and fun than Gradius or R-Type. Well, that's all I needed to know. That is all I needed. I think R as bad as I struggled with R-Type, I think it's more fair than Gradius at least. At least R-Type gave you a chance to get a couple of weak power-ups back. Gradius is like, oh, you died? Well, now you have nothing. And you're slow, so guess what? You're going to die again, and then you're going to die again, and just keep dying, and then it's going to be over. And you're going to hate the game for the rest of your life. That's my that's Gradius in a nutshell for me. All right, I've had enough of these guys sliding in like this. No. No more cheap shots. This is stopping. All right, spear warriors we can deal with. I hit his weapon. I didn't even hit him. I'm dead. Okay. Nice. All right, we got another monkey moving in. I like shmups that are not completely based on power-ups. Because when you get a shmup that's based on nothing but power-ups, when you die, you lose it, and then the balance is gone. Don't know how to deal with this, dude. Don't know how to deal with this. How far back are we? I better not be back at the very beginning. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. Hopefully I can get some power-ups. This is the beginning, though. Oh, shit! I think this is the very beginning. Okay, now I might be screwed if I can't get that weapon power up. No, it's bad. It's really bad. Raiden? I've never played that. Yayo, what's up? So that's the game that got you into the genre. Is it how hard is Raiden? I think I've. I think that's one pretty hard. 
if I want, if I know my shmups, which I really don't, but re <laughs> how hard is it? Coffee, have a great night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Sleep good, dude. I appreciate you very much. This guy's whooping my ass because I'm not powerful enough to fight him, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take another death here. I got no health. This is over. I could have preserved better health if I'd had an axe power up. Guess what? I don't have that. Oh, now I get it when I've got no hit points. Nice. Nice. I, I, these guys are just awful to deal with. All right. Big hit. Stun lock now. Get him with a stun lock. Stun lock. Yes, sir. Okay. We're good. How far have you made it so far in the legendary axe? Idle nice. I made it to a maze level. I made it to some kind of maze, and then I, like, didn't know what was going on, and I died. That's as far as I made it. But I'm going to, like, take note of what rooms I'm in better next time. Because it was telling me, like, room A, B, C, D, all that. So I'm going to, like, draw out, like, a path of the map next time. Because I wasn't sure how complicated that was going to be. And it was more complicated than I was expecting. God damn it, dude! Getting it handed to me right now. Life Force I actually kind of liked, but once again, I had a run where I kept my power up, so it's probably why I did good. It's probably it. Played a few minutes of this the other day. It's not great, but I didn't hate it. It seems if it had better controls, it would be good. I'm honestly not too upset about the controls in this game. I, I The knockback is the single biggest issue I'm confronting here. Werewolf has that same problem. There's all so many platformers that have knockback issues. It, it's all about the knockback. Like one game started doing that, and then like practically every game followed suit on knockback. Right now, my current favorite shmup is Blazing Star for the Neo Geo. I've heard of that one. Is it Gotan? If you're enjoying it, I'm hoping it's a fair one. Like I always consider fair. It's just based on power ups. That's why I liked UN Squadron. If you died, you restarted the level, but you could buy, uh, you would have your power ups again. It was fair. And it, but the game was hard, but it was balanced to be that way. It was well done. I just cannot get over what Gradius did. Blazing Star's damn good. I'll have to try it sometime then. I mean, granny's sprigging on PC Engine. I'm beginning to think unbelievable mode is impossible. But look it up on YouTube. Some crazy nut will have probably done it. There's practically everything's been done on YouTube. One way or another, somebody's done everything. Though I didn't find anyone on YouTube that had done something I've done recently, which is kind of amazing. I didn't see anybody had done uh, Mega Man Powered Up, the that robot boss underwater with the Buster Only. I didn't see any videos of that. <laughs> Mine's the only one. Either that or somebody just hasn't posted it. And I, that was a really hard fight to figure. Oh, look, this guy got stunt. No, he didn't. I thought he glitched. I thought this guy had glitched. No videos of it on YouTube. Interesting. So I guess no one has done it before. And you going to be the first Idol Knives? UN Squadron was cool. I remember a neighbor had it. We never beat it, though. It's good, Effley. It's good. You need to try it. It's just a damn good schmub. Professor Matthias, what's up, man? Welcome in. Thank you for the good luck. I definitely need that because I'm really struggling with this. I did better the first time I got here earlier. Now I'm really having a problem. All right, I'm going to try and reset this dude. There is no time limit. Yeah, this guy resets if you back up. Just let me move forward. That's all I want to do is forward. This is designed to piss you off with knockback right here. This whole section is designed around dealing with knockback. Got lucky. A little bit lucky right there. sucks, man. That sucks! Ah! How am I gonna do this? How did I do it the first time? I don't even know. It's like I got lucky or something. How did I do this, dude? I'm just gonna keep working on it, though. If I run out of lives, we're taking another run. 
<laughs> I'm not giving up on it. I mean, it doesn't take long to get back to this, and this is what we're having a problem with. I think we can figure that maze level out if I can, like, get some type of decent path going. It's this what I'm concerned about now. I'm losing all my lives on platforming. No, not really platforming. More like knockbacking. Th those guys take so many hits now. I think you're just developing a Gradius grudge. It's really different from the rest of the genre in its era. I, it's because I played Gradius as a kid and it stuck with me really hard, Culep. And I, I'm qualified to put Gradius down even now because we beat Gradius 1, 2, and 3 on stream. So I, I, get, I gave them all a fair chance. I beat them all. And my opinion on them is still exactly the same. I still hate them. Because the problems with them are still exactly the... Even though I know how to get through a lot of the parts now, it doesn't change the fact that I still hate the series. And I even did Gradius 1 Deathless! It doesn't matter, I still hate it. My hatred never goes away for that kind of stuff. I could play Ocarina of Time now, I probably would still hate that also. Alright, well, you just gotta get closer to these guys, apparently. That was my problem, just not getting close enough. All right, we're almost back to the monkeys again. I got to do that without getting hit. That's the whole problem. Then you have those little guys that right there that slide in and get in a cheap shot. Like that! Jesus Christ! All right, the screen scrolling is screwing me up because I'm too far to the left, and you can't fix that. We have to deal with unavoidable damage. What, for this game? Uh, I don't know. I think if you were better at this game, which I'm obviously poor at it, I think there would be a way to get around some of this stuff without getting hit. Alright, I got my health back. We're good. We've got to deal with the freaking Donkey Kongs now. There's going to be one here. These guys are easy if you have full axe power. If you don't, you might as well just start over. It's all, once again, a Gradius situation because of lack of power up. You and Scott Drum's cool. I remember. Uh, yeah, if you guys. If you want a shmup that's hard but fair, go play UN Squadron. Don't play Gradius. You'll enjoy UN Squadron a hundred times more. That's coming from someone like me. It's probably a really good thing to hear that from. All right, let's, uh, there we go. These guys are so easy if you just wait for just a second. Perfect. And it's fun hitting stuff with big axe moves because it makes that noise. I feel like it's a uh, mental thing because R-Type de R -type definitely has some of the same issues like checkpoints and nasty areas. But see what R-Type did? It gives you a couple of power-ups to work with. R-Type also has unlimited continues so you can keep working on it. Gradius, you go back to the beginning of the game because every Gradius game I played besides Gradius 2 had limited continues. So it was back to the beginning again. That just adds to an, that added an insane amount of frustration. Because, like, this is a game I feel is fair to have limited continues on, and other games that have limited continues, I feel most of those are fair. I don't think a game that's built like Gradius should have limited continues simply because of the whole power-up mechanic system of getting stuck at a checkpoint when you're too weak to get through it. That's just the way I, I think it should have been. Gradius 2, I hated it, and it even that had unlimited continues, and it didn't help me. I still hated it. But but still, the, the problem remains. You basically have to deathless and all of them to keep all your power-ups, which is a poor mechanic to me because if you die near the end, it's almost impossible to recover edge. Thank you. That's exactly my point. Exactly. And that happened on the last stage of NES Gradius on loop two. And I got there deathless. And then I died one time. And then I died nine more times in a row. And that was the end of the game. <laughs> that was it. All right, we're back in the maze. I'm going to start taking notes here. This is room A. I'm going to draw out like a little path here because I don't really know what else to do with this because uh, we need to figure this out. If I don't beat it on this run, at least we'll have a map for next time. That's the plan. What is the shmup that I can beat easily? Uh, Robat, that would be Tailspin on the Nintendo. I beat that on the first try, one credit clear. And I'm horrible at shmup, so if I can do it, practically anyone can. Might like Gaiden. It's good about giving you power-ups at checkpoints. See, I would like that. Gaiden lets you customize your bar to put options earlier or something if you want. See, that sounds good. That sounds nice. It's the whole you die in, at a checkpoint with no power-ups thing that bothers me so much about most shmups. Because a lot of them do that. 
our type doesn't didn't do that as much which means i immediately liked it more than the others that did not do that the main challenge we have to beat each level at zero power-ups but you can get them back if you do this in every level beat each level at zero power-ups that sounds like one of the worst things imaginable for a video game that's something i would never do simply because it just doesn't sound fun if a challenge is just not, this bear's gonna get me. Okay, you don't have to kill everything. All right, that was room B. This is gonna be room C. All right, so the path doesn't split until I think there's like a well to drop down. All right, so that was room B. This is gonna be room C. Can't believe we're having to do a freaking maze. I, I was not counting on this. But it is what it is. All right, there's nothing but health in that room. Don't play R-Type Final 2. Some nasty-ass checkpoints in it. But it does have unlimited lives, like unlimited continues. Because that might actually make it somewhat reasonable then, even in that situation. All right, this is room D. This has a path to go down. So I don't know if we have to do that or not. Let's see if, uh, let's see what's over here. Okay, so there is only one path here. That's That actually helps quite a bit. All right, so room D goes just down. There's nowhere else to go. All right, we're still in room D. This is the monkey that ended the run last time because I didn't have enough power-ups. Not this time. Not this time. Parodius is a better version because at least if you die, you can re-pick up your power-ups. Well, I would enjoy that. I would not have a problem with that. Usually the problems I have with a game is just like things I consider that something would be somewhat unfair. If there's a way to get around something, even if it's difficult, I'm fine with that. But in some situations, I consider stuff unfair, like King's Knight yesterday. King's Knight was putting me in some unfair situations where you had to take a hit to make any kind of progress. That was driving me nuts. This is room E, by the way. I should have been doing this the first time. I was not... I didn't think that was going to matter because I wasn't sure we were in a maze or not. But now that I know, we're going to keep up with what room we're in. This is room E. All right, nothing but bats in here. Those get points. Yeah, just a few. All right, guy with a club. We can deal with this. Just wasted a big, powerful strike on a bitty bitty bat. I think I've got more range than this dude. I don't even need a full power strike. It's got more range than it looks like, okay? Let's see Mixer Stream Shovel Knight. You can make it really challenging by not getting upgrades and destroying checkpoints. I think I own Shovel Knight, Tilty. I think I already own it. I probably bought it when it was on sale a long time ago. Because I'm notorious about like buying like 20 games when there's a big Steam sale or something. And then not playing them for years. So I might own it. There is a good chance. This is Room E, by the way. This is Room E, and there's a path to go down. Or... We can keep going to the right. Let's see what's to the right first before I go down. I did not know the door was right on the other side of the wall, but okay, that's fine though, because I would have had to make a choice anyway. This is gonna be room F. All right, so I'm gonna draw out a little path from this to F. All right, so we're doing fine. We're doing fine. We're making progress. Shovel Knight's terrific, and if Neff likes it, that means I might hate it. That's dangerous. Still got a lot of chocolate candy bars from Christmas. Too many calories, Big Dave. Give those away. Give them to kids. We say port uh, Otu Automatius. What is... I've never heard of that one. Was that a shmup that was never released? We will, uh, you eventually can get 99 continues, but not really unlimited. Okay, well, 99 sounds like plenty to get through a game, right? You, you would think. Probably not if it's a shmup, Culep. I mean, after I went, what, what I went through with R, Super R-Type and, uh, R-Type 3, 99 continues might not have been enough. <laughs> I don't know how many times I continued in that. It, it might have been close to that. feel bad for kids being given candy. <laughs> But they love it! It's bad for them, though. I was really happy to get candy as a kid. Not because I love Shovel Knight, too, so you'll adore it, mate. Raku, you and I are usually on the same page with games. I understand that all too well. Raku, I hope you're doing well today. Welcome in. I bet I would like it. I've actually seen it played a little bit in Red Ox's channel. She comes on late because she's on the West Coast. I don't get to see a whole lot of her streams. But she was playing Shovel Knight not all that long ago, and it looks really cool. 
It looks outstanding, actually. This is room G, by the way. I'm drawing a map of this dungeon. I don't know where we're going. It's an old Gradius parody from 360. You'd hate it? Oh, yeah, I probably would then. <laughs> I probably would. The Messenger, Goten. That looks like, is that the Ninja Gaiden like game? The the Messenger, because I might have already bought it. Cyber Shadow, that might Tilty, that may have been the one I was thinking of as well. Yeah, those are games we're gonna stream one day. We are streaming those games one day for sure. How was I supposed to not get hit there? They came on, on both sides of me. What? Okay, I don't think they got me that time. Okay, room G sucks for this reason alone. Okay, there's another way down. Hey, what's going on, goobs? Welcome in. I think Mixer would like Shovel Knight. I think I would, too. I'm pretty sure I would enjoy that one. Shovel Knight looks like it would be a good time. And yeah, we'll probably stream that one day. And all. There's a lot of like modern retro games that I would enjoy. I'm pretty sure. All right, we're going to go to the right here. I've left two paths open that we haven't been down yet. This goes to room H. Okay. This is room H. Well, like I said, we're drawing a map. Bear with me here. We might not be able to get through this. Go 10. I think I should definitely try the messenger if it's like Ninja Gaiden style. Okay, it is inspired, Culep. That's good. That's good. Uh, Automedius, I don't even know how to say that, is basically ever easy... Uh, Gradius parody, but it's an Xbox 360 game, so pretty modern. That sounds way too modern for me. Yeah, probably probably not a, a, a good idea. Probably not. I mean, the stuff that came out in the year 2000 is practically too modern for me, so, you know. It is what it is kind of thing. All right, this is room E. What? This is room E? That went in a circle. Okay, you don't want to go to room H. Because that goes back to E. All right, so this goes back to E. I'm going to put an X next to H so we don't go in there again. So now we have two different paths to choose from that go down. We're getting there. That's progress right there, even though we went the wrong way. Dude, you like the messenger? Dude, it's so good. Okay. Sounds like we need to play the messenger. If I don't already own it, I'll go buy it. No big deal. Apparently, Ninja Gaiden Dev played it and even commended it even. Well, that's high praise. That's high praise. See, I usually play retro games. Like, you know, you guys know I love retro. That's my go-to. But I don't mind, like, going out and playing, like, some of these modern retro type games. Because I've done, what did I do? I did Super Meat Boy. That was really good. Jump King is built kind of the same way. So, so would, you, would you guys like seeing some of those games every now and then? Like Curse of the Moon and things like that? I would stream them. Because they're basically retro games. I would enjoy them. And if you guys would too, we can definitely stream them sometime. I mean, I I'm going to need to find games to play that are not 3D that I might actually enjoy. And those games might be really good. Cuphead I've done. I forgot all about Cuphead. Curse of the Moon is awesome. Sounds like we need to play that then, right? You'd like Curse of the Moon? I think I already own them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already bought that, too, because I, I saw the pixel graphics and stuff. I might have bought that years ago. I don't even remember. I wasn't even considering streaming at that point. But I still have it, which means we should probably just wait until that day arrives and then stream it. I shouldn't play it off stream. Do not do that! Don't do that! You're beating the crap out of me! I just lost a bunch of health. Awesome. If I die in here, it might be over. Okay, there we go. You definitely like them. Okay. So I got stuff to work with. All right, we'll stream them at some point. Sounds good. Sounds good. Cuphead I have done a full playthrough of. I forgot about that even. Cuphead I've done expert pea shooter pacifist. I, I, I've gone off the deep end with Cuphead. What room is this? This is room E. Okay, so we could drop down here. We could drop down here. I'm going to try it. All right, there's some health back. That's nice. What room does this go to? This is going down from room E. This is room I. Okay, so this is new. This is new content. All right, I'm not sure if I made it this far last time, but I'm marking it down. This is room I. Volgar the Viking. New retro plays. What's up, man? Welcome in. A rage-free run. Adopt. Welcome in. No, this has not been rage-free. I've already run out of continues once. So, uh, <laughs> we're still learning the game, but yeah, there's been some raging. There was a boss fight earlier I got killed at like 12 times in a row, and I was starting to rage there, so uh, it could happen again. 
could most definitely happen because I don't know what's beyond this point. This is as deep into this game as we've seen so far. Zelda Link Between Worlds hate emulating it, I'm sure. I wouldn't... Now, I don't really want to play another, a Zelda game on stream I've never played before simply because I think you guys would get bored with it because I, I, I progress very slowly in games like that. I love taking my time with a Zelda-like game. So on stream... I don't think it would go too well. I don't mind watching other people play them, but I don't think I'd be a good fit for them at all. Watch a YouTube video of Jump King. That was like two and a half years ago or something, Tilty. It was quite a while back. And Jump King, I enjoyed looking back on it, but while I was playing it, I was hating it. It was kind of like Battletoads. It was kind of one of those situations. You appreciate it once it's over more so than actually in the moment. We have another path to go down here, so I'm going to draw another arrow down. This is room J. So I could go down here or we could keep going. I'm just going to keep going for now. We could come back and do that part later if we have to. It's fine. That's your favorite Zelda game, Tilty? I'm, I might have to try it off stream at some point. Volgar the Viking, I have that's been brought up retro plays for sure. Think if you'd enjoy it, then we will enjoy it. Think he bought that bullshit. <laughs> no, and that mug why I, I know how it works. But if people are really enjoying something on a stream, that a streamer's playing a ragey game, more than likely the chat's gonna love it and the streamer's gonna hate it. I've been on both sides of the coin for that one. Yes, it's fun watching a jank game, I'm not gonna lie. This is room K. This is who, there's some woman about to attack me. Uh-oh, what is this? <laughs> I see some woman with a mean look on her face. What is this? Okay, she blows up and I take damage from it. Is that really the way it's going to happen? She turns into a bat. Okay, I didn't see that coming. What is this, a vampire? All right, well, that was room K. <laughs> That's a new enemy. All right. That's new. That's new. This is room L. All right, so I have a path. How I, you, Dropping my pencil on the floor will not help. Okay. This is room L. Progress is happening. Might not look like it, but it is. Micro mages. I don't think I played that before. I've heard of that, but I, it, it, I don't think I know what it looks like or anything. The Messenger of Valferis, Blazing Chrome, Azure Striker, Gunvolt, Demons of Astaborg, and a bunch of Vs. There's a good list for you, modern retro style games. I think I've seen most of those on Steam, actually. Make sure we need to put more sounds and shenanigans to use our points on. Yeah, but then you guys would like spam the same annoying noises over and over that I would hate. I see what you're trying to get away with there. <laughs> you would like find a noise I hated in a game and what that is a sound effect you could redeem and then you would just annoy me to death on it. Like a Gradius noise or something. I don't think that's a very good idea. Oh, that's a new enemy. That's a new enemy. I can't even get near this. Is there like a pattern here or am I just... How about not doing that? All right, there we go. Let's charge up and just go get it. Yes, get wrecked, you piece of trash. Another one. Okay, big shock there. Got him! Oh, I hit a fireball or something. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad spot for those to show up. That's really awful. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I want to keep these away from you like that. Okay, I'm, I'm getting better. Got them. All right, man, this room's hard. It's wow, it's still going. I hope that hits something. All right, I got some health back. This room's really obnoxious. This is a good game. I like this one. Gad the Rat, I hope you're having a good day. Yes, I, yeah, you could annoy, you could limit the X plays per stream. I don't think I'm going to do it anyway. There's stuff I don't want to hear that people will bring up. Since you like Star Fox, I'm likely to play Star Fox 64 while giving Star Wars Rogue Squadron or Battle of Naboo on N N64. Go, I'll have to see what they look like. I remember seeing those games when they came out, Lord Malachite, but I'm not sure if I would like them. 
But uh, we are doing Star Fox 64. I'm glad you brought that up because honestly, Wolfmaster played that on his stream the other night, like a week ago, and I liked what I saw. So that means we're definitely going to do Star Fox 64 at some point. It looked fun. It really did. It's, it's on rails mostly. Then you have like a 3D boss battle or something, but that honestly looked cool too. So we're going to do Star Fox 64. Absolutely. Yeah, you remember you played it like a week ago. On hard mode. <laughs> I was there. It happened. I, I, or was I dreaming? You, you did play that. You did. Okay. I was about to say that. Was that a dream? No, it happened. Jukebox, what's going on? Welcome in. Candle, what's up? How you doing today? And thank you for hanging out. Vanilla, have a nice sleep. You are heading to bed. Early schedule present, no problem. Vanilla, sleep good, buddy. I will see you later. Thanks for hanging out, as always. I appreciate you. Arrow the Acrobat. That's another game that's kind of like, that's like a Sonic-type game on Genesis and Super Nintendo. I remember, I, I remember seeing that back in the day, but I never actually got to play it. You like that, Retro Fan? You like Star Fox 64? We'll play it sometime. We definitely could. I'd be fine with it. I like the original Star Fox. So, I mean, and the 64 version looked like more of that type of content, so why not? All right, if you miss an attack on that statue thing, you're in trouble. How much longer is this room going to go on? Good lord, dude. This is insane. Room L is garbage. I'm going to put like a I'm going to put a mark next to this room to show that this is a bit of a problem here. Wow. Rice Star, I've not played yet, Edge, but I've seen other people play it. I definitely have. What are some more modern, awesome retro games? Uh, Celeste, Tilty. I'm sure you already know about that. I'm sure you've already heard of Celeste, but, but a lot of people have brought that one up to me. Jump King's good. Uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. You like climbing or something. That doesn't look fun, honestly, but that's not something I would play. You know what the L is for? Uh, but, uh, what's it for? Lose? Because that's what it feels like it's going to make, it's going to cause the run to end. And there's a way down here too? That means we might have to come back to room L? Oh god, I don't want that. I, I don't want that at all. Alright, so what are we going to do? We're going to go down here? Or are we going to keep going? I'm going to keep going to the right. I don't know where we're going. It's just a guessing game right now. This is room M. Okay, so we're at least in the next room. You know, I'm going to be really pissed off if, if I end up back in room L. All right, this is room M. Gave up on Celeste, Depression, Mountain 1. You can't give up, Jukebox! You can't give up on a game. You got to go back and beat it. It doesn't feel right to give up on any game. <laughs> at least to me. <laughs> Mixer should definitely play Getting Over It. You just want to see me get really mad. That's all. I've done Jump King. I know what type of game that would be. I've done all the Jump King content, all three chapters. So the, the, you just want to see me fall and get really upset because I know that would happen. That happened when I played Jump King like a million times. All right, spamming attacks on those guys is average average at best. All right. Room M should go to room N. I know my alphabet. This should be room N. Okay. I'm hoping it doesn't go in a damn circle. All right. This is room N. We're, we're slowly but surely we're getting there. Progress is happening. Yeah, We might have to backtrack again, but I've got to map this out or we're never going to get there. Jump King getting over it are not for me. They're not for everybody. They absolutely are not. But Celeste looks fun. You, you like Rice Star, Neff? It look, from what I've seen, it looks good. Rice Star is quite good. Too bad Sega of Japan set it up to fail. The animation and like graphics and stuff are very charming. Need to try Star Fox with the SFX chip delimiter to speed it up. It runs at like 15 frames per second, the original Star Fox. I didn't like that even back in the day. Dragon Super, what's going on? There's something you need to see that I post on your Discord server. Okay, I will definitely check that out after the stream. For sure. I usually don't swap over to Discord during the stream because it can... I've crashed my stream before doing that, but thank you for the heads up on that. I will be sure to check that out. I need to be more active in Discord, honestly. I, I'm not active enough there. Definitely a thing made. I love giving up on games. Life's too shitty to spend more time on. I'm not having fun with. And so that's a me thing, Raku. That's okay. That's okay. See, if I didn't finish a game, it would, it would bother me. 
It would be like, oh, I didn't finish so-and-so, and and then that's going to eat away at me until I actually do finish it. At least for me, there's a free build of Cursed Castilla. I've heard of that one, too. That one's been brought up also. This is room... uh Uh-oh, there's an enemy showing up. Shit, that's bad. That's bad. Spamming your weapon doesn't help very much. It really doesn't. You really want to hit stuff really hard like that. All right, this is room O. Man, how many... Is this going to go all the way to room Z? Is this going to go from A to Z? Because we're already up to O. My God, how big is this dungeon? I mean, I'm getting it mapped out, so we're making progress on it. That's great. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to run out of lives and stuff here. And then we're going to have to play the whole thing again. I'm really worried about that. For me, Star Fox 64 is the best N64 game. I'm looking forward to playing it. We will stream it. Absolutely. Wolf, no problem, buddy. Thank you for hanging in. Go get some nice food or something, because I could use some food right now. It's already 3 o'clock. What the hell? Really? Have I been playing this for three hours? Wolf, again, thank you for hanging, buddy. I feel I feel I have to finish things if I really start them. If I play 10 minutes, realize it's not for me. That's one thing. But past a certain point, I feel I have to finish it. Goobs, I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. I'm the exact same way. You're, you're kind of committed at that point, right? Oh, yeah, right. Wow, they snuck one of those guys in there. That's crap. How do you not... Oh, give me health back. Okay, I can't complain too much. All right, this is room P, and there's a way down. This is room P. I'm going to run out of room on my paper here. <laughs> I'm going to have to start a new sheet of paper. This, the map is bigger than I expected it would be. What was the modern retro game that released on Game Pass last year? I forgot. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't keep up with those. You guys keep up with that stuff for me, so I don't have to. All right, room P's done. This is going to be room H. All right, so don't go there. Do not go to room P. Do not do that. Do not do that. This is the wrong way. You do not keep going further ahead. God damn it. We're back to the begin. How far back am I? I'm in room H. So where does it... Oh, no! This is going to go back even further! This is a bad room to be in. This goes back to room E. Oh, my. We're practically starting over. Room P does have a way down. That is correct, Plabu. I marked that on the map. So if we make it back to room P again, we can go down there. You just don't go right. This is insane. This is on emulation, Effily. This is emulation. The turbo graphics I have is probably not going to stream suitable. Probably wouldn't work. It's really old. All right. Well, now we're in room E. So where should I go from room E? Did I go down from room G? I'm trying to... No, we need to go down from this room to get back to I. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to get a bearing, get our bearings on where we are. So I think we need to go down here. Nova, what's going on? Welcome in. Can't go home till we finish. It's not finished. Waste a big hit on the stupid bat. Of course I am. All right, I know how to get back to where we were. It's just going to be... A, I have to do that horrible room L again, I bet. That's where all the enemies were. I wonder if there's a way to not do that room. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a trap room or something. There's a Turbo Duo. No, it's a Turbo CD. Turbo CD. Almost that was practically non-existent back in the day. I'm back had to boil eggs with this game just full of Metroidvania Splatterhouse 3. It's going in a loop. It, it is definitely going in a loop here. I'm not happy about that at all, but what what can you do? What can you do? We're going down here. Hopefully this will be some health back. It didn't give me much health. It did not restore enough health, dude. Did I... Okay, it gave me what I deserved. Uh, what I needed. Alright. 
we're fine. Everything's good. Plenty of health. No time limit. We'll just keep working through the maze. It's fine. See, if I wasn't drawing out a map, I'd be in a lot of trouble here. This is room I. Okay, so the next room's going to be room J. And you can also go down from room J. I could try that. We're going to do that. We're going to go down from this room and see if this is where the path continues onward. All right, I is down. Imagine this was a Castlevania stage with a time limit. You'd have been dead. You would be quite dead. Okay, now what? Did I just trap myself? No, they eventually fly. They've got a range attack, dude. Forgot about that. It's fine. King's Knight is a cult classic cult who loves shitty fucking games. I agree. No, I can't believe anyone would enjoy King's Knight. I, I just can't see any enjoyment being derived from that kind of game. Jay, we're going down. We haven't been this way yet. This is new. This is new territory. So what room is this going to go to? Where are we going? That was room J. That goes to D. Okay, you don't go this way. All right, that is wrong. <laughs> Room D again. All right, back to this. Awesome. They we're near the beginning of the maze again. Oh, gosh. All right, well, this is why I'm taking notes. Or at least I get a little health back. Jesus Christ, really? Really? Yeah, really. Deal with it. I gotta charge up a big hit or we're not gonna kill the monkey. All right, it's gonna be a win for the monkey. Win for the monkey! The monkey wins! All right, that might be the end of the road. I didn't do that right. All right, now I might be screwed because I don't have a powered up ax. They're gonna make me fight the monkey again with no power up, so I'm gonna die. How about a power up? God damn it, you give me health! I don't need health here, I needed a power up. Seen people enjoy games like Dark Castle 2. It's crazy how different we all are. Naps, you know what? You bring up a great point because I like Deadly Towers on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I like it. Most people hate that game with a passion. I actually enjoy it. But you know what? That, you bring up another good point. Dark Castle, now that I know how to do a full playthrough of that game, I don't really mind it either. You can beat it in like five minutes, but getting to that point took me like four hours to figure it out. Why is the monkey already active? Can you duck under that? You can't. I'm just gonna run. I'm just running. I can't beat him without more, I lost half my health. Dude, you die on this level, you are in trouble. You are in trouble! All right, can I get my power-ups back? What is this, room E? Where are we? Okay, we need to go down here to get to room I. Hopefully they're gonna give me a chance to power my axe back up. Awesome. It's freaking awesome. See, now I'm helpless. This is a Gradius-like situation. I died, now I'm in trouble. I'm getting bad vibes from this section. How could anyone like Nosferatu? Well, how could anyone like Deadly Towers? I like how, how, however, we all have different opinions. If we all like the same stuff, would it not be, it would be boring, wouldn't it? The, the fact we enjoy different games is a good thing. Be an, an, an upgrade. That's a speed upgrade. That's not what I wanted. All right, this is room E, I think. I did just go down here, so this should be room I. It should be room I, correct? Yes. Okay, I know where I am. Nosferatu would be good given its similarities like to Prince of Persia, but it misses the mark. If you could just control Nosferatu a little bit better, I would have liked it. Because I don't mind those types of games. I did Lester the Unlikely. It was a lot better than Nosferatu. And that's saying a lot, because you know Lester the Unlikely has got a very bad reputation. Once you know that game, it's not all that bad. And it's not that hard to control it either. I never could figure out the controls for Nosferatu. In the eight hours I was streaming it, I never figured it out. This is room J. Okay, you do not go down here. If you go down here, it's kind of game over. <laughs> As you go back. I okay, don't know how to deal with that. All right, all that's... Di Maybe if you go slower here, do those spawn out, like, more reasonably? Nope, they do not. They do not. Okay. That does not help the situation at all. All right, I got one of them. 
Got them both. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna die again, but at least we're like learning where to go. Beetlejuice was might have been the worst game I've done. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's what makes video games art. I agree, man. That's a good way to look at it. It really is. Some people are going to hate it. Some people are going to love it. I feel like some of these older titles throw in a maze just to prolong the game length. You might be right, Valo. You might be right. This is room K. Okay, so we've been through room K. We have Room L is coming up next. And that's the shitty room. So we need to get through this one and then go down in the next room. If I live long enough, that might be not ha This woman takes more than one hit? Really? Okay, so we really need to hit her with a powered up weapon. All right, here's the room I had a problem with last time. Here's room L again. Beetlejuice himself might be the only person that could enjoy that pile of shit. I, I, I despise that game. I didn't think I was going to hate it that badly, but I did. I, I still am going to hold my opinion that that might be the worst game I played on stream yet with Beetlejuice. And it somehow ended up beating it. I don't know how, but it happened. All right, so I'm going to try and bait out this guy's, like, angled shot, and then we're going to go in and... And he got me anyway! God damn it, dude! How do you not get hit by that? Is there no pattern? Or am I just... I'm just guessing, dude. I'm just taking a guess on these statues. I don't think they have a pattern. All right, if it... No pattern. No pattern. It's just get lucky. No! All right, at this point, I'm just hoping stuff doesn't respawn because I'm being forced way back. I did, yeah, I finished every single game we've played. all Even all the crappy ones, Beetlejuice, Dark Castle, everything bad we have finished. <laughs> King's Night yesterday, that was horrendous, but we did finish it. There's not a game I've ever just given up on. That's, that's kind of the thing, never quitting on a game. And I didn't intend for that to happen, but it just kind of started, and I've never gone back on it. We've always finished every game. I'm, I'm just dead, dude. I'm just freaking dead. This is room L. Game over. Game over. Okay. Game over. How far back? Room L. We're starting in room L without full power. Are you kidding me? You're starting me here without full power? How do you expect me to do that? Unless this is the... Okay, that's the axe thing. Disregard all the griping I just did. They gave me the power up. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, where are we going from room L? We have not gone down yet. I went the other path and like there was nothing good to be seen. All right, so what should we actually do here? I'm trying to just keep going until we find a, a, a different place to go. I, I've done Fester's Quest. I hate that game. I absolutely hate it. I've done it. We're never going to play it again. Don't underestimate women. It takes more than one hit to kill these days. No. The women are badass. I would never underestimate a woman. Believe me. I know. I, I, I know that all too well. Jewel Master? We're going to play that one day. I've got it. We will play it. It's on my list. My list is very long about games we haven't played. And it's going to keep getting longer, too. All right, get... No, you're supposed to be dead. There. Okay. Oh, the, the health despawned because I went off the screen. Awesome. Great, but the monsters come back, but the health doesn't. Perfect. Outstanding. Great. Rosie O'Donnell. I don't know that much about her. I, I, I don't pay much attention to celebrities. Not really my thing. I pay attention to retro video games, sports, and anime. That's my life, not celebrities. Good lord, my big axe swing got blocked by a fireball. Are you fucking kidding, dude? No! Good freaking lord! I, I can't do anything about this. I can do nothing. There's nothing I can do here. Can't actually do stuff. Oh, you're asking if this is live? You want to know if it's live or not? I, I can show you how. how. 
I can show you. Is it okay? Does that answer your question if that's live or not? I, th I think that will do it. I, I think that is sufficient to your answer. Ah! Uh. Oh, Street Fighter 6? I won't be playing that. I will not be playing that, Culep. No thanks. I will not be playing it. I, I play Street Fighter 2. <laughs> and that's it. I have no interest in any beyond that. I know that sounds crazy, but I, I just have no interest. It's Street Fighter 2 for me or nothing. I, I love Street Fighter 2, just like the day it came out originally. Why do I need a new Street Fighter game? I don't. Absolutely do not. This game looks rad. Chaucer, it's good. It is really good. I have uh, never seen Mixer play any Kirby games yet. Grick, we will play them. I do have them on my list. I own, own, only grew, own, I've only beaten one Kirby game in my life. Just one. Just one. And that's the one on Game Boy. I had that when I was a kid, but I've never played any of the other Kirby games. We'll work through them sometime. I'm looking forward to trying them out, because I know they're good games. These statues are just, just all kinds of levels of bullshit because you don't know what's going to happen. And then they slide that guy in behind the statue. That's beautiful. Street Fighter 2 or nothing? There's someone that'll understand. Andy, do you feel the same way? I bet you do. You of all people. <laughs> That's right. Street Fighter 2 or nothing. Not Street Fighter 1. No, not that. Not Fighting Street on the Turbo Graphics. No, Kremit. No, I played that before. <laughs> it's so jank. I appreciate it though, simply because it, if without that, we would have never had Street Fighter 2. I wonder if you can kill those statues just by like inching forward like that and just hitting the button. Kind of want to try that now. All right, we're going down from room L. I've never gone this way before. This might be new content or it might go back to the beginning. I don't know yet. Andy, hope you're doing bad. Hope you're doing good, man. There is no other Street Fighter. Congrats on the world record run last night. I saw right at the start of your stream, right as I was going to bed, you got a world record. Or maybe it was like 40 minutes in or something, but I did see that. Hope you're having a good day, man. I love how you're knocking out those world records in Street Fighter 2. See, I appreciate that because I love the game so much. This is Room T, by the way. This is new content. We have not been here before. This is brand new content. This is Room T. So let's see what we can do with this. We're getting near the end of the alphabet. You know what that means? That means we might be on the way. We got it and it felt good. It does feel good because you have to deal with a lot of RNG bullshit in Street Fighter 2 speed running. Maybe that's why a lot of people don't speed run Street Fighter 2 because of the level of bullshit RNG you got to put up with. That's why I appreciate watching it. You can't like get it down to a fine science. You have to like adapt and deal with crap along the way that sometimes doesn't always happen, which makes it for a fun watch because you have to overcome, and that is not easy. Any Super Street Fighter 2? Uh, what's my favorite version of Street Fighter? I like Super and Super Turbo because they have the new characters and turbo has a lot of cool new moves so both either super or super turbo are my favorites because i like the four new characters they put in and yes they're still new to me we're talking about fei long cammy t hawk and dj they're still new to me <laughs> basically <laughs> this is a room U, by the way we're in a new area this is room U. Here's my map of this so far. Th this is what my map of this place looks like. That's what we're going with. I know, it's very rough looking. I, I can read it, that's all that matters. And that's what we're looking at so far. That's my map. It's a bigger dungeon than I was expecting. <laughs> but, but we're getting there. That's all that matters. Never remember the difference between the mini versions of Street Fighter II? You ha uh, let's name them all. Street Fighter II The World Warrior. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition added the four bosses, Balrog, Vega, Sagat, and M. Bison. 
Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting added extra speed and a couple of new court and a couple of extra like moves and stuff. Then you had Super Street Fighter 2 added uh, the four Cami in them, and then Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo added uh, the super special finishers and some more moves. And those are all the versions of Street Fighter 2 that I remember from the old days. I think they've had like anniversary editions and all that since then, but those are the ones I actually remember playing myself in the arcades. We have a way we can possibly go down here, so we're going to mark this as an optional path. Wonka, welcome in. How you doing today? Classics, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is good. I keep accidentally resetting the game. It's driving me crazy. What game are you accidentally resetting? Prince of Persia, are you still working on that? Own Street Fighter 2 on SNES and MK1 and 2. Just never had real competition to drive me. I, all my real competition was in the arcades. When I was actually playing my buddies that I, I was friends with at school, I would beat them every time. But to, to actually find some competition, you had to go to the arcades. And that sucks, too, because then you have to pay money to keep playing. But if you don't lose, then you don't pay, keep paying money. So I, I would try and get myself good enough to where I could win without having to constantly pay more money. There's another path down here, by the way. There is another path down here from room U. That's two. Okay, I don't understand that. That's the first time we've run into this problem. Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition on the Genesis. I didn't have any of the Genesis Street Fighter 2s because they came out on Super Nintendo first. So I bought those versions and just rolled with that. Because ga games were just too dang expensive. You couldn't buy too many versions of the same game. But I did have original Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Hyper Fighting, and Super on Super Nintendo because I love the game that much. You guys probably already know that because you've seen me playing on Fightcade and all that stuff. One that had two more characters and some features and updated graphics. I think that was three or something, because no version of Street Fighter 2 had any more than 16 characters, I don't think. Actually, yeah, they added, like, Dark Ryu or something to the anniversary or something. I'm not sure. Death Merc, I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah, Alt-Q it quits or Control-Q. Yeah, you got to be careful with that kind of stuff in a game. Got to be careful with that. That's like the, the meme everybody says in an online game. How do you turn on so-and-so? What button does this? And somebody will be like, oh, Control-Alt-Delete. That, that will fix your problem. Ha, ha, ha. People are just regular comedic geniuses in online games. I swear to God. All right, this is room V. Now we're moving into room W. We're almost, I bet room, we have to be at room, uh, wait, where was room S? We went to T. This is W. We're skipping letters. Apparently that would must have been somewhere else then. I don't know. I don't know where we are or what we're trying to accomplish here. I have no clue. I uh, haven't gone down the path in room P. In room W, we haven't been all the way through. Super Street Fighter 2 had Akuma, but he's legit broken. Turnies ban him. The, uh, I didn't know you could play as him. I thought he was just available if you got through the game without losing a round, because I have done that before. He's really hard to beat, too. He, I remember him just whooping me. He's got new moves and aren't like regular moves in the game. All right, well, well, we could add more to the map here. We could go down. Man, this is a pain to work through. This place is too big. This is too big. This guy's not going to move. Okay, I, I went down. I don't know if this is going to be the right path. I didn't even mean to go this way. I hate these enemies. If they get the drop on you, you're going to get hit a couple of times. All right, so I'm going to go down here and see where we end up. Please be at the boss. Please be at the end. Please be something other than going back to earlier in the level. We're about to find out. All right, well, if you guys wanted to see Room M again, we're back there again. We're at Room M! All right, so I'm in Room M. Now we're going to go to Room P and go down because that's the next nearest place we haven't been to yet. Jesus Christ, I did not know we were going to be doing a dungeon like this. What is this, an RPG? Really? <laughs> I 
And I'm gonna die in here too, because these guys are clubbing me to death. Kuma in modern games is balanced, low hit point, but super aggressive. That sounds fair, like a glass cannon type build. Sounds good to me. Nurse, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing today? We're not... God damn, these guys fight really well. They have skilled fighting techniques, and they're overpowering me right now. I'm not doing a good job. I need help. No, we're not escaping from Tarkov. I don't know even know what that is, but we're not doing it. We're playing Legendary Axe, and we're lost in a giant maze. Nurse, I hope you're doing good, man. I'm gonna die here. Death is looming right around the corner. Okay, we'll at least make it to the next room. This is gonna be room O. If there's not health here, I'm freaking done. Be health or I'm dead! The AI on these club guys is actually good. They only rush you sometimes. It's kind of random. All right, this is room O. We're going to room P. God damn, this is annoying as absolute hell. I just want to be done with this level. I'm done with this. I'm going to try something new here. That failed. All right, back to drawing board. Be health, be something. All right, axe power up. I can work with that. Okay, this is where we have not been. If you keep going here, it goes back to room H. If you go down, we don't know yet because I haven't been this way. This is new. All right, speed power up. This is new. We have not been this way yet. Brand new content. Room Q. I don't think we've been in here yet. All right, this is going to be room Q. I have no idea where we are. None whatsoever. It's gonna be a spear, dude, Of because of course it is. Why would it not be? We are full power, so we can drop them in two hits if I actually play well. Perfect, okay. Now be health. All right, I'll take it. It's better. Now we're in pretty good shape. And I think I just got a one-up from getting a lot of points, so that's good. Wait for a prompt to save Jennifer to pop up. Oh, like Splatterhouse? We are trying to find some girl. Her name's Flare or something. What kind of name is that? Well, uh, Flareon? All right, nice. Another dude. That's enough of these guys. If I wasn't full power on my axe, we'd be in a lot of trouble here. These guys are not easy to kill if you're not full power. Okay, that's plenty. That's three. Oh, another choice. Really? All right, we can go right or we can go down. Let me mark this. All right, there's an option to go right or down from room Q. All right, so uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm going to go down. We've been going right. Most of the wrong directions have been going right, so I'm going to try going down here and see where this leads to. It's probably going back to room L, is it not? Room R. I just got an achievement unlocked at the end of a maze. Did I finally go the right way after all this goddamn time? All right. <laughs> Please be the right way. This is room R. Tyrus Flair. Oh, from Golden Axe, of course. I forgot about her. That's right. Music is almost similar to Ric Flair. Ric Flair, really? Woo! Good Lord freaking Ric Flair. There's Tyrus, and he's got a Tyrus emote. Holy crap. A, a slightly modified Tyrus emote, but you get the point. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, God, it's a boss. Oh, my God. Wasn't this guy a wrestler in WWF? Uh, what do you do? Oh, he's going to get me. Oh, he's tele... Can I destroy these fireballs? I can. Oh, gosh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm landing hits. I s I face tanking's not going to get the job done. God damn. 
dude. Oh, crap. All right, well, at least give me my axe power up back. Okay, thank God. All right, at least we're through the maze. I don't know how we're gonna kill this dude, though. Be health, be something. That's not going to help me. Oh my God, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Uh-oh, how many continues do we have? How many continues? I still have two, okay. Do we start back at him? We do. Okay, well, that's generous. Holy crap, that's really generous. Okay. All right. Wow, I'm shocked about that. Yeah, we did get through the maze, though, and I know how to get back through it if we have to continue again, so at least there's that. Surreal, how you doing today? Welcome in. That's not Bam Bam. Who is it? This is like that guy from WWF, Kamala, or whatever his name was. Who remembers that? This is from, like, 1980 or something. Surreal, how you doing today? JP, what's going on? Modified, I know, right, Andy? <laughs> Quagmire would really appreciate that emote. Mixer not using the P word, what a surprise. I don't know how to win this fight. The P word might be the answer though, Plabu. It might be, I'm kind of worried about that. Where's an opening to attack? Does he fire four? Can I get him after he teleports? Gotta be a way to do this without like face tanking through it. He did! Holy crap, we got him. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. There's more to do. Uh-oh. I thought we were done. We are done. We are done! Okay. Well, it's something new. This is a witch doctor from that Walla Walla Bing Bang song. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Grab it. It might be. <laughs> I remember that. You know, it's like a mutant panda. He does. He's dead now. And I kind of know how to fight him if we have to do that again. Man. <laughs> that, that maze was crazy. There was almost a, an entire alphabet worth of rooms in there. Eight bitter bus. What's going on? Fight mixer does not a win. Nonsense. Story of my life. Right. Welcome in, gamer Nix, What's going on? Hope you guys are doing well. Sorrel says TG16 mixer should play New Adventure Island. I should play an Adventure Island game. Really? I should. If there's more Adventure Island games to play, we gotta play them. Right. Probably not shmups though. We gotta stay the hell away from shmups. But other stuff we could play. Plenty of power-ups here. That's a good way to get this level going. Uh, what? Who is this guy? Uh, help. Is this the last boss? This might be the final boss. Okay, whoa. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna win. There's not like, there's no like no room to move in this room. What the hell even is this? I don't know, it's a giant monster, dude. You didn't play Adventure Island 3 or 4 or Super Adventure Island 1 or 2 if I recall. No, I have not. I've only done Adventure Island 1 and 2 on Nintendo. Those are the only ones I've played. There's, I know about the Super Nintendo one, and I know about 3, but beyond that, I don't know anything. Homeless Monster Homer Simpson. <laughs> Kind of looks that way. Vice Project Doom. I haven't played that yet either, Andy. That's another game to play. That is on the list as well. We gotta play that. Pikachu Shock Face. I know. I, I I did not see this coming, Omega Mac. I didn't see this coming. How are we gonna win? I don't know. There's gotta be a way to avoid that jumping stuff he's pulling. All right. There's a big hit there. All right. What is he? Okay. 
How do you not get hit by that? How do you not get hit by that? Are you backing up? Alright, he jumped backwards there. Oh, no! Uh-oh. I might be in big trouble here. Yep, saw that coming. I'm dead, dude. I'm just dead. I'm just dead! Uh-oh! Alright, gotta get my axe powered up or we're not gonna make it. Vice Project Doom is a game I wanna play. Castle excellent. We will surreal at some point. We will... It is a similar... Oh, is there... Is there something like this in Project Doom? Because I have not... I've seen that game, but I don't think I've seen all the way through it. Some people have streamed it here and there, and people recommended it to me. I was like, maybe we need to try that at some point. You can't walk under him. Okay, that was worth a try. You can't walk under him. He's gonna hit me here. I don't know how to not get hit. That didn't count! How is that not counting?! I've got one more continue. Uh-oh. I don't know how to avoid that when you're underneath them. I don't, I don't know what to do there. I didn't. I wasn't given axe power up that time. Now I'm, I'm surely not gonna win. I don't have a chance now. There's nowhere to go. I'm gonna get hit every time. I think I just learned something. Hold up. Didn't learn anything. No learning. No learning. I have no idea how we're going to win the fight. None whatsoever. It didn't even get... I don't have enough power-ups to win, dude. I don't have enough power-ups. I wasn't given power-up that time, so I'm screwed. I I'm dead. I am absolutely dead here. Is there a way to, like... There's no way to know, dude! You're just gonna have to get hit! I'm getting hit regardless. I'm going to take a hit. I'm, and now I'm gonna get hit. sucks that sucks wow all right well <laughs> i don't really know what to do with that fight but at least we got there right oh man that that, that kind of sucks right there I, I can't win that fight without some power-ups they did not give me enough power-ups to win we might have beaten them on that last run if i had had power-ups but i didn't have it shades of gradius we're gonna go again. We know how to get through the maze now. So that's a huge positive. We know exactly how to get through the maze. So it's not gonna take any time to get through that. I have it written down. We can go straight to the ending. Because that took forever to figure out the maze. That was the vast majority of the gameplay on that last run was the maze. You like this rush? This is a good game, but man, it, it's tough though. It, it's tough. 
It, it's taking some effort to figure it out. So the guy can't, the big guy can jump over you. He can do that. But I don't know if that's gonna happen every time. If I could get him into a pattern where he jumped over me a bunch like that, we could maybe kill him. But if you get cornered on the side of the screen, you're gonna get killed. You're just dead if you get in the corner. Guy nervous system looks like body feels like thanks to long COVID. And they, yep. I've heard that before as well, Sorrel. I've never had COVID before. I'm just I'm still doing my best to avoid it. But yeah, I, I've heard lingering effects from that can be quite problematic. I'm the last boss in Castlevania. I, I wish Dracula was as... I wish this guy was as weak as Dracula. That would be nice. This guy's actually kind of dangerous. I didn't know what to expect, but I kind of see how the fight works now. But still, it's going to be hard to figure that out. It, it kind of feels like there's some RNG going on with that fight. And I'm really not sure what to do. Get lucky and hope he jumps in the right patterns is not a very good strategy. At least we know how to get back. This isn't a bad game. It looks just not really in these old, old arcade platformers. I, I really like this game. I really do. I think this is a good game. I think this is good. Yeah, I know. I can't let him land on top of me. But if you get in the corner, if you get cornered, you have to. There's nowhere else to go. Unless I could, like, face tank through a hit or something. And just get out of there. I might have to do that next time. And I'm also worried about not getting enough power-ups. That's another problem. That's another whole issue. If I don't kill him, like, on the first try, and I don't get enough power-ups, it, it could be over before it begins. But we know how to do the maze, and that's the worst part of the game, or at least the most time-consuming. So w once we get back there, we should be able to get back to him very quickly and take him out. Hopefully. We need to get there with a big pile of lives. That's what we need. We need to not die. We need a deathless run. Dude, a deathless run of this game would be really tough. Lots of things go wrong here. It's a good game, though. It really is. Yeah, you got to give sub earlier, literally. Welcome in. J.I. dished out five big ones. And now I'm starting the game over, but it's a fairly short game if you know what's going on here. Now I know how all the boss fights work, so I think we'll be fine. Still not confident with that last guy, though. I don't know if there's a way to manipulate his pattern or what, but it was not going real smoothly. I hate these little jumpy things. What is this, Brin Star? It looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like it's straight out of Super Metroid. I don't know any of the other Metroid games, so I can only name Super. Actually, I do know the original Metroid. I know Super Metroid, and I know Samus Returns on Game Boy, but those are the only Metroid games I've played. I kind of got, I kind of wasn't interested in Metroid anymore when it went into first-person shooter mode. I was like, this is not Metroid. I'm freaking done. I'm not playing this. This is nonsense. I, I, I never went back. But they have made other 2D Metroid games since then that I would more than likely love. Just keep that 3D first-person shooter crap out of my Metroid, please. Please and thank you. I think EGM game, that, uh, this game of the year in 1989. This is a really good game. I probably have that episode too, Valo. I probably have that one. I've got most of the old EGMs still from back in the day. They're fun to look at even now. All right, this is the boss for you guys that weren't here earlier. We're fighting a boulder. That is, This is the actual boss of level two. There's only like six levels in this game. It's, it's fairly short. Remake of Metroid 2 is also great. Metroid Fusion, I have not played those, but I'm interested in trying them. As long as it's not a first-person shooter Metroid, I'm interested. You know, that first-person shooter stuff interests me at all. I was competitive in Quake back in the day. I burned myself out on first-person shooters long, long over. Anti-Metroid Prime, is that... That's As long as it's 2D, Omega, I'm good with it. Just give me my 2D and I'm happy. Makes it really needed a game like this after all the monkey crap thrown at him. There was a lot of monkey crap going on yesterday, I can tell you that much. And yes, this is a good game. Despite my inability to finish it right now, this is still a good game. It's not an easy game. There's a lot of learning you have to do in this game. This is not a game I don't think anyone's going to beat on the first try. Or the second. I failed on the second run, too. But like I said, it's not that long. We'll be back to the ending fairly quickly, I, I, would, I would expect. As long as things don't go too badly on some of these levels. We can keep our hit points up. I don't like the Metroid Prime controls. 
Is which one is Metroid Prime? Sorry, I don't know any of those. I have not done the fan-made remake of Metroid 2. I have not, but I've heard it's really good. Now, see, the Metroid 2 on Game Boy, that's a pretty tedious game because it doesn't have a map, and the world is freaking huge. I had that when I was a kid on Game Boy, and I really liked it, but man, it took some effort to get through that one. Holy crap, they showed no mercy with that at all. None. Very strong Shadow of the Beast 2 vibes from this game. I have not played that. That's on Genesis, right? Poral, Poral, welcome in. I hope you're having a nice day, man. I think that's on Genesis, that game, because I've heard of it before. This is a good game, too. I have nothing against this game now that I know what's going on, but we still don't know anything about this. Final boss is still going to be a problem. FPS exploration game. Sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds really boring. I get so bored when it's first-person shooter. That's just, to me, the epitome of boredom. I know those games are popular. I get it, but not to me. No fun to be had. I, like I said, I'd probably burn myself out on competitive shooters by actually being competitive in one for many years. Those days are long over, never to return. I had fun during that time period. This was 1997 through 2000 or something. And yeah, time's up on that. Never again. Okay, I gotta be careful here or I, I will get killed by a butterfly. That almost happened last run. I think it's a Mega Mega Drive game. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on the Mega Drive. First person adventure according to Nintendo. First person anything's not good. I, I, I'm done with first person. That wore out its welcome after Doom was gone. <laughs> it's my opinion. If I hate soccer any time, you dislike Prime. Yeah, yeah, I probably would hate it. More than likely. Now, 2D Metroid, I don't mind a bit. I like those a lot. Even if I get stuck for a while, it's fine. I'll eventually work through them. But it's all good. Same as the original Metroid with no map. No map Metroids are not easy. <laughs> you really have to learn the terrain. There's a lot of stuff to learn. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Plaboo. It's that. I, I want no part of those games. I'll never play them. I don't mind watching it if someone else stream them. But I, as far as like playing them myself, no, no thanks. No fun to be had there. I have to do that stupid temple level again that I don't like either in this game. With these guys on the edge of platforms, that's so much fun. They just keep knocking me off over and over. Great stuff. At least these guys have fairly low hit points and don't do much damage. These guys are just there to be annoying. And they fight like the Axe Knights in Castlevania. Same style, except faster and less damage. Quit getting hit! Too many hits! Metroid Fusion is... is that one... that one's 2D, right? <laughs> that's my only question. Is it 2D? That, that's all that matters. <laughs> 2D or bust! No 3D stuff. Alright, there's some health there. Maybe there's another 1-Up or something down here. That'd be great. No, it's just health. Okay. It's good. I, Metroid Dread does look good. I do want to play that. I would not stream it, but I would definitely play it. That would be a good off-stream game for me. But then maybe come back and play it again on-stream on a hard one day. Plaboo, I think I remember you talking about that. That you, that you said Metroid Dread was really good. But I do want to play it. Axiom Verge is a great Metroid-like series. I've seen that stream before. I definitely know what Axiom Verge is for sure. Death Merc, and it looks good. Uh, what is going on? Welcome in, Vance. Welcome in, Fox. How are you guys doing today? If you guys are doing good, King's Knight was 2D, but that that didn't save it from being garbage, that's for sure. That that was a garbage-tier game if there ever was one. Espe well, you know what? King's Knight could have actually been a good game, believe it or not. It had the makings of it. It's just... It, the design decisions that went into it, like the rotating characters and the getting hit while you're jumping and getting stun locked while you're switching characters. It had so many stupid little flaws in it. It was nuts. It's just so many problems. No, I, I have no interest in Doom Eternal or Doom 2016. That, that's just too darn modern for me. Little bit too modern. 
Tomb, to, even though it's Doom, it just, it just doesn't look, it just doesn't feel like it to me. Too modern. No interest. I, I need to be sticking with stuff I like this. This is what I, this is the kind of game for me. This is perfect for me. Right, you got to be careful here. This is the first level where you can actually die if you're careless. All right, watch for the birds. All right, this wooden dude. All right, we're fine. The bird. All right, now I have to deal with Merman. Yeah, it's like He-Man. Proteus is good. Uses 16-bit pixels and small stages of Super Mario World type of map. That sounds good. That sounds really nice. Doom 64, I, maybe I'd be willing to give that a try. It, it's still of the old era, and it's a new type of Doom game. I, I might try it sometime. My compare, I'm going to compare every, like minuscule pixel of that game to the original Dooms, though, and that, that might be a bad thing. I'm bad about comparing things I really like to, to things that are somewhat similar, and Doom 64 might fall into that bracket. It really could. I shouldn't do that, but I'm notorious for doing it anyway. Can you go down? There's nowhere to go down here. Okay. Alright, we have to watch for the mermen. You can die very easily in this spot if you're not careful. This guy gonna respawn because I didn't kill him, right? He did not die. Okay. That guy you don't have to fight, I learned. Somehow King's Knight made you and Mike Matei react in the same exact way when you beat it. What, disbelief? <laughs> that was my thought when I beat it. It was complete and utter disbelief. I was like, oh my god, did we actually just kill the thing? Because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if that was even going to be the final part. But thankfully it was, and I was spared a, a, a lot of grief and misery there. All right, so there's going to be another green guy here. All right. Can I reach him from here? No. Good! <laughs> oh, a little too close for comfort there. There was a ledge down there that I didn't know we were going to land on. All right, jump here, jump there. We're fine. I don't like these club guys. They fight really well. They have good AI. They don't always attack you. They wait. That time... Really? That happened. All right, better. Better! Doom 64, I'd be willing to try it for sure. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm willing to give it a shot. For sure. The oh my god and disbelief. Really? I'm going to have to watch his playthrough of that. I am going to have to do it. <laughs> I was told he did a full playthrough of that. He might be the only other person I know that might have ever streamed that game. Because I, I can't think of anyone else. I've never seen that played before. And I think he puts all his stuff on YouTube. So that would be a fun watch for me to see how he dealt with some of the stuff that really gave me a problem. Without King's Knight, we would not have the iconic line, I'm a horse. I did say that, I think, didn't I? I'm a horse. I think I said it more out of disbelief than anything else. Vance, have you played this? I know you like the Turbo Graphics. This is a good game. I'm enjoying this game. I made it all the way the last guy, I think. What I think is the last guy. Big giant Homer Simpson undead looking dude. And I lost to him because I don't know where to stand. So hopefully we'll be able to take him out when we get there next time. I said, I, yeah, I yelled I was a horse or something yesterday when I turned into one during King's Night. I was, I was in a little bit of shock. Okay, that, there's going to be a boss right here. I hate this boss, by the way. This is very obnoxious. This is a very obnoxious boss fight. These turn into regular enemies later. This isn't on Turbo 16 Mini. That's unfortunate because, like, when people talk Turbo Graphics, this game always gets brought up. How could they not have it on the Mini? A lot of cool indie horror games out there, too. I like indie games are usually better than the big corporate games in a lot of cases. Yeah, there are Herb Spice. There are. What's up, Herb Spice? Hope you're doing well. I, I have a lot of appreciation for indie games. I really do. In a lot of cases, too, because they're simpler type games than like a first-person shooter would be, which would take considerably more resources to put together than most indie companies might be willing to do. 
Matei has it on YouTube. I think it's two videos from separate days. Okay, because I really want to see it. <laughs> I'll have to find some time to watch that. Because there's not many people that are going to play King's Knight. He's going to be one of the only ones. Let's see if we can get some health back here. Okay, we got some stuff. All right, that boss fight I've got down now. It's not that bad. Just get there with health. Don't explain the ending of Legendary Acts 2. Steven, what's going on? No, don't explain it. I haven't seen it. That might spoil it for me when I get there one day. Because <laughs> I haven't ever played it. Steven, I hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. Really? This, they're going to do this? I hate these freaking club guys. All right, they're dead. It starts the, the beginning of the next level. This is that monkey level, I think. Which isn't that bad. See, we're already back to this. Nowadays, I'm liking indie games a lot. They're free to be more creative. They are. I, I've, I've owned quite a few indie games on Steam, and they're really, really, really good games. I mean, better than a lot of, like, gigantic corporations and stuff like Activision might put out. Never underestimate what indie developers can do these days. Just do not. Because th there's so much good stuff out there. D developing a game is not restricted to giant companies anymore, which is a great thing. That makes the companies be more be more careful about the kind of stuff they're releasing because they can't get away with garbage anymore. Because indie companies are just as good or better in most cases. In a lot of cases. Okay. I wasn't patient with that eye. Alright, there's going to be some issues here with those eyeball things. There always are. The controls in this game are good. I really don't have a complaint about the controls. I've played so many games with such bad controls. This is really nice. They should make a mini turbo gra super graphics. Tanned, they should. The more of those they make, the, the better. Tanned, welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome aboard. We're playing a game I'm enjoying. I really like this game. It's not easy, though. Agalos is a great example, Rush. I own that. I haven't played it yet, though. But that is a really nice example. That look, that's an action RPG indie game that just looks fantastic. They, yeah, indie companies can get away with garbage. They can. But it's more of a labor of love for them to make a game more so than like a, a big company like EA which would perhaps they're just making something for the for money not because for the love of the game like a lot of indie developers do do you can tell too you can tell that one of my favorite indie games is called cross code and it's on Steam and I absolutely loved it that was one of my favorite games I've played in a long time. That was made by, like, three guys in Germany or something. It was ludicrous how good that game was for how few people worked on it. And it's a very overlooked game, too. Hardly anyone even knows it exists. Boy, is it good. Not something I would ever stream. It was very puzzly and had a lot of mazes and stuff going on. But for an off-stream game for me to work on, it was amazing. Uh, another Metroid 2 remake. It did get a cease and desist from the big end. That's unfortunate. You know what? The big end needs to get its act together then and remake more stuff like that. God damn it, dude. We cannot afford those kind of silly little deaths. Can't afford them. How did I not die there last time? I'm not sure. How did I avoid that last time? I felt like I was all the way over. That was a, that's what I would consider a silly little death that's avoidable. Yes, the knockback in the game is horrendous. That's part of this game. They put, put out something bad, but not because they didn't care right. Well, the, the, the big companies put out a lot of crap and don't care because they, they figure it'll sell based on name or something anyway. I've, I've seen that many times. I had to leave a moment to make sure I'm a horse clip was saved for all eternity. I'll put that in the in a uh, in a compilation at some point, Vance. It takes me a while to build those compilations. I put two together of different random crap I've said that I never remember I say, but people clip that I do. So okay, that time I was more prepared for that. That time I was more prepared. Somehow I was in the air and didn't get knocked back nearly as much. I don't even know how that happened, but it worked. So I'm not complaining. If you make it through something, count your blessings and move on. 
movie producers do sequels based off names so that a lot of sequels are just they're just going for a quick buck they don't care if the movie's good or bad and in some rare cases though the sequels can be better than the main movie example terminator everyone remembers terminator 2 but terminator 1 doesn't get much talk at all that's the eyeball that's killed me before okay that eyeball has knocked me out. Now I almost died there too. We have to kill this guy in one hit. And then we have to dodge that like that. Okay, I, I have been through these levels. I know what to do. It's just a matter of doing it right. And we have some dangerous moments coming up up ahead here because there's a wood guy like right on the edge of a platform, which is very dangerous. Yeah, like right here. That is extraordinarily dangerous. And so is this. So I'm just going to just jump over him. I just skip fighting him. No, he doesn't do much damage. It's fine to do it like that. Okay. We're lo No! What? <laughs> now we have to play the whole section again because a butterfly got me. <laughs> Being careful does not always help you. I was careful. It didn't help. I was very careful. doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just going to happen like that. Sometimes you just have to deal with it. Random butterfly. I knew it was going to happen at some point. If you already made YouTube videos of all the rages, I've got two here saved on OBS. I think they're on YouTube as well. It's just uh, the a when I go AFK sometimes, it it's that compilation. It takes me a while to put those together. I don't have a whole lot of free time off stream, so those, it, it takes time. Cried right again at the age of 34, Terminator 2 is ending. El Gavati, I do too, every time I see it. Every time I see it, I cry as well. It can't be helped. <laughs> it can't be. I'm a guy. I cry at some movies sometimes. It happens. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Not even a little bit. I like T1 over T2 as well. Okay, some of you guys did. That, Death Merc did. Fox did. Okay. Fair, very fair opinion. I can work with that. All right, you got to be all the way over, and they can't push you backwards. I see it. I get it now. Yeah, the, the, the freaking butterfly just cost me a life. Unbelievable. Un-freaking believable, Rush. I can't believe I died there. See, this is the kind of... If you were actually going for a real deathless run of a game like this, this is the kind of crap you put up with. This is why... I, this is a prime example of why I rarely do a deathless run in a game. Because the dumbest of the dumbest stuff is going to kill you at some point or another. You think you're prepared for it. Guess what? You're, you're not. Just like right there. If it flies, it dies, right? If, 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 they go out of their way to make flying enemies just the most obnoxious crap possible. Okay, we know about that eye right there. There's going to be another merman here. Kill him before he can attack me. If you jump right there, you just die. I'm in the T1 camp too. Okay, a lot of you guys like T1 more than T2. I stand corrected. Totally acceptable. Because T1's good. It really is. I'm not saying it's not. But just for most people from what I've heard, prefer the second one. Even though I like them both. All right, that, that's great. I'm just going to do it like that from now on. Just take one hit and go. Don't even fight the guy. It's fine. All right, this is the monkey section. I don't necessarily like one over two, but they're about equal to me. But another fair point. I like hearing everyone's opinions on all this stuff because if you have a different opinion, that's okay. That's okay here. I mean, I have the, like, the weirdest opinions you'll ever hear on ga video games and stuff. So for you guys to have a weird opinion on anything, it's totally normal here. Robocop, well, I like Robocop 1 the most, simply because I, I guess that's where it all started. You like T1 as well, Tilty? You like that one? Uh, best Rambo movie? The first one. I like the first one the most. And the one where he's in Vietnam or whatever, I like that one. That's the one the video game was based off of. What was that, Rambo First Blood 2? I, I can't keep the names of them together because the, the names are a little bit weird for the Rambo movies. They don't really make sense. But I like that one in the first one. Robocop does not need to be PG-13. That's freaking rated R. <laughs> that is a rated R movie. Is it not? Is it really PG-13? 
Because if it's not, it needs to be rated R. See, The Goonies is another movie that probably should be rated PG-13 now. Not many, I don't think many parents would like their kids watching The Goonies today. T today's parents, that is. Uh, this is not a good scenario that I'm in here. This does not look right. This does not look right. I think I botched this. Yeah, I think I did. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yep, I botched it. I botched it up. God damn it, I botched it. All right, this botching stuff's got to stop or we're just not going to beat the game. We are just not going to beat the game if I don't get this under control. I scrolled the screen too far. Little mistakes, they add up. If you fall in the monkey hole, you're dead. There's no escaping the monkey hole. That happened earlier, but... Really, it, ha it happened again. Can't let that kind of stuff happen. Just can't do it. Inexcusable death right there. There was no reason to take that death. None. None whatsoever. All right, so you have to work with the screen here to know where you're supposed to go. If you jump here, it scrolls the screen up too far, and you can't see where the holes are. That's what happened. See where the one blocks are? That's where, if you step on those, you go in the monkey hole. So we have to keep the screen about right here. You're not going to be able to do it. If you go in the monkey hole, it's over. That happened. That's the second time I've seen that happen now. TV edits of Robocop 1 edited out the big death scene, what, with the guy melting? I I'm sure that scene gets edited out from regular TV all the time. Seen the Robocop vs. Terminator on Death Battle? I have not. I'm guessing Terminator 1, though. If I had to make a guess on that, I'm, I'm guessing they picked Terminator. Okay, I just screwed up again. I just screwed the hell up again, man. Welp. Rip. I didn't mean to jump right there, but I did. Monkey hole. Monkey hole. Monkey hole. Monkey hole. Oh, I survived. Okay. <laughs> How am I doing so poorly here? I don't know. I gotta get some health back or it's over. Alright, I'm still alive, but just barely. Bad run, dude. Just really, really, really bad. Really bad! Monkey Hole sounds like a good band name. Don't use it. Don't use it, Photon. It'll just remind everyone of this. And nobody needs to be reminded of this. I can't believe I've done so terrible with this run. Alright, well, we have a chance here. Not a good one, but we got a chance. Hopefully I get some health here. Not gonna get any health, are you? No, nope, not gonna get anything. Tiny ch nope. Ah! Oh man, okay. Wow, this is fa this run's falling apart very quickly. This run is collapsing because of the monkeys. The monkeys have doomed the run. Actually, I've doomed the run by not doing my not doing my screen properly. Zalen, what's going on, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Seven Castle, what's going on? Good to see you also, dude. Brass League, what's up? Michael's Monkey Hole? Yeah, it could be that monkey as well. Michael. Yeah, that guy from Aladdin. That one. I, I, I am just... Per I'm destroying this run. I really am. I am completely ruining this run. You cannot jump here or it scrolls the screen up and you can't see where you're supposed to be. That's the whole thing here. Zaylin, how you doing? Brass, what's going on? Seven Castle, hope you guys are having a nice day. I was having a nice day, and then I went in the monkey hole. And then it's not so nice anymore. All right, I can't go down there. I just can't do it, or, or it's over. All right, just be careful, and everything will be fine. I've wasted several lives now doing this. Yeah, weekend's going good. I'm very glad it's Saturday. I am thrilled about that. Don't clip the freaking monkey hole. I never want to see this again. I never want to see this again. Alright, see, that's all you have to do. If you scroll... See, here's the problem. If I jump up here, I can't tell where the holes are and I die. That's the problem. Yeah, put points in Bubsy. You're, meows, everyone listen to Meows. Let's just get Bubsy out of the way. Let's do that. 
let's just do that. Just get it out of the way. We don't have to play it. We don't have to think about it anymore. But it'll happen. Where's Big Mac? Oh, he, he got this treatment right here. He, he got that treatment. Kind of like that. You're wondering where he is? That, that's, the, that's his fate. The same one you just got. All right. Let's fight the bosses again. This time, hopefully, do better. Good start. That's a good start. That's an even better start. Can't believe they killed me again, dude. Really? All right. I don't want these points. You can get extra lives and stuff. All right, just need to need to back him off. Okay, I can't lose now. Okay, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. No more monkeys. That's over. The monkey hole's done. We don't have to ever see that again. We're done. All right, level five. This is the. I hate this level's awful. This level is terrible. You want a bad level in a game? This is it. This has got everything you hate. Getting pushed into ledges, ob obnoxious enemies, a giant maze. If you like all that stuff, this is the level for you in a video game. Right here. Bad start fighting this guy already. Look at all those points going into Bubsy. Yes, get it over with. What if I like Bubsy? What if that turns out to be a thing? It could happen. Wouldn't be the first time I liked a game that everyone told me I was going to hate. It, it could most definitely happen. Alright, very nice. These guys just troll the living life out of you, and they're going to keep doing it, too. Alright, be great to get some health back early in the level. Got some real trolly stuff about to happen here. Real trolly. These guys right here are a major threat. If because it becomes your ultimate cozy chill favorite, it most definitely could. It most definitely could. Agnar, what's up, man? Was Bubsy on SNES? Uh, it was on SNES and Genesis. We're going to play the Genesis version. That is the one I am going to be playing on Genesis. And I, in a weird way, I'm kind of looking forward to it a little bit. In a very weird way, just out of sheer morbid curiosity. What if it turns out to be fun? It could. Stranger things have happened. I like Deadly Towers. That's a game most people hate. I like it. I get really nervous attacking those guys every single time because you don't know what's going to happen. Nice. Okay. Is there more? There's not more. Okay, that's one of the worst parts of the level, and we just got through it. Now i got to get some health back. Got to get some health back. We got monkeys up. We got apes up ahead, not monkeys. Seven, eight-year-old me. It's belly aching with stupid laughter how stupid the game is. What, Bubsy? Did you play it when you were that young, meows? Holy crap. That, that's dangerous. Playing a game that frustrating at that age, oh, that, could, that could scar you for life. See, I got scarred by Ocarina of Time. That's the, some of those wounds never go away. I did play Bubsy as a kid, but I remember, like, nothing about it. I don't even think I beat level one. I didn't like it, but I did rent it for, like, one night, and I remembered almost nothing. I, I just remember dying a couple of times and being like, yeah, this is definitely not like Mario or Sonic or something like that. And that's all I remember. So when I do play it, it'll be a pretty much a blind playthrough because I know nothing about it. We're making some progress back here, though. We're at least close to the end of the game again. You know what? Right after the maze is the final boss. I think I, that guy might not be the final boss. It sure does look like it, though. So we got to donate the Bubsy fun. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Bubsy 2, I've seen that stream before. That's a billion times worse than Bubsy 1. It's nothing but a gigantic maze. Really boring, obnoxious, everything else you can describe with that. These guys, we have to... Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. I was expecting another one of those little quick dudes to slide in. Yeah, it's got balls of yarn. I've seen that. I've seen that.
All right, is there going to be more of those? Yeah, there's going to be another one of those, guys. I should have known. We're almost back to the maze again. Oh, we have to deal with this clown again. Nice. Okay, there's a couple more. Or an another one of these. Okay. These monkeys are not bad at all if you can come at them with a full axe. But if you don't, you're in trouble. Dr. Fuzzy Boots, what's going on, dude? What is going on? Bubsy's worst design is that single hit death. Yep. That's what I'm most concerned about. No matter what hits you, and there's no way to get more hit points, I don't think. At least I never made it far enough to find out, but I, I don't think there is. I think it's one hit death for everything. Dr. Fuzzy Boots, how you doing today, man? I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. We're playing some, uh, we're playing Legendary Axe. We're trying to make some progress here. It, it's going okay. I, I think we've made it to the last boss, I think. At least as far as I know. But this is a good game. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And thank you for the eight months, dude, of subbing. I really appreciate that, dude. That is too kind. Yeah, it's been eight months of interesting times. Is it not crazy challenges and garbage redemptions? And first playthrough sums up my channel perfectly. Since I, I'm not a speedrunner, I never will be. i got to find other things that are going to be somewhat interesting to do. But that's what you get with my channel. You get first playthroughs, garbage games, and challenge runs of all kinds of games. So a little bit of for everybody, except, you know, like I said, no speed running. I've done a, one speed run before I'm lying. Just one Jump King. Jump King Chapter 1. I did that in like six minutes or something. Only because I was very proficient with the game by that point. All right, let me map out the path here. What are we going to do? I should probably like draw an arrow of like what direction we need to be going here. But I think we need to uh so we let me let, let me see here. We need to go to room D, then to room E. And then we need to go down, and then we need to go all the way to the right and go down at P. Okay. I think we can do it. Direct axe to the monkey's head. That feels good. I wish I could kill those stupid little monkeys in the hole more. Those are the only spot in the game where those actually exist. It's insane. Dr. Fuzzy Boops again. Thank you for the resub, buddy. It is very, very kind. I wonder if I can one-shot that bear. I can. Okay. I think we should just run. I think we should just... Yeah, let me get in the door. All right, good. Good. You don't have to fight everything. I don't think enemies really even drop much stuff in this game anyway, so it's no loss. All right, and occasionally they do let you actually get health back, which is amazing. Yeah, we're practically back to the end of the game already. Just got to get back through the maze that I actually have written down on paper and know how to deal with now. I play some games on hard nowadays. I never used to enjoy it sometimes. It's fun to work through them, Rush. I mean, even if you don't succeed right away or for a while, it, it's fun knowing that one day you will, though. And it's a lot of... It, it, it's just exciting. I like that a lot. I'm, I really didn't play games much on hard when I was a kid. It was kind of a rare thing. But occasionally, if, if it was the game I played like a ton and was like really proficient with it, something like Streets of Rage 2, I played that to death as a kid. So that, that was an example of a game I really liked playing on hard even back in the day. For the most part, though, I just played stuff on normal. Hard mode was like, what do I need that for? I already beat the game. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get it. <laughs> Did not get it. This is going to be room E, and we're going to go down here to room I. So we're going to take the first down. We know how to deal with the maze now. It's probably not. It's probably going to be a, like a million times shorter because we're not going to backtrack any. It's good. I feel like I cheated my way through games with codes and guys looking back, kind of ruined some games for myself. I did too, Agnar. I did too. I think a, a good example, I think, would be Contra. The original Contra. I think pretty much everybody beat that with the code their first time. Nobody did a first playthrough of Contra without the code. Q-Dog, I hope you're having an awesome day, dude. I know you've been here, but I'm welcoming you in again. You're doing Echo Emotes. How could I not? I like into That's a great example of a game I thought I would despise, and I liked Echo. Now, I didn't like every level of it. Keep that machine level the hell away from me. But other than that, I think Echo was fun. It was good. I didn't know about the Contra code. Glove, you did not. Interesting. I thought everyone on the planet knew about it. 
I never did use the code. Rush didn't either. I, and, uh, <laughs> interesting. I, okay, I stand corrected again. Play retro games when you save states there. Deal with it. Hey, if you're having fun, Seven Castle, that's all that matters. I got no problem with save states. I got no problem with them whatsoever. If you want to use them and have, have fun with them. Have fun with them. No skin off my back. I mean, <laughs> if I had had that available back in the day, I would have used it, and I'm surprised I don't use it now. But I mean, for, for streaming purposes, I would never use a save state, but if I was practicing a game or something, I think a save state would be great. But no, I've got no problem with save states. People want to use them, use them, have fun. I know there's some people out there that really hate save states, but I, I don't care. If, if you're having fun playing a game, just do that. That's all that matters. We're going to room J. I'm trying to keep up with where we are so I don't get screwed over. My grandma knew the Contra code. You had a cool grandma. You had a cool one, Tilty. That's amazing. <laughs> My grandma didn't even know what a video game was. Tried to show her one day, and she, I don't think she got it. No surprise, though, right? No, I'm gonna have to use some patience here because these eyeball things, they pop in really quickly. All right, so room J, I'm gonna actually put eyeball next to it, or maybe I should draw a picture of an eye. I'm gonna write eye next to that just to keep that in mind. Is this a room where the Black Lagoon Lizards guys hang out with their fireplace? I'm surprised they're not here. That would make a lot of sense, though. <laughs> ah, really? Yeah, really, that happened, okay. These eyeballs are just terrible. Do we go down here? I don't think we do. This is room J. We do not go down. Okay, we keep going to the right. A lot of eyeballs in this room. Okay. All right, we're done with that room. Not using say states practice of just leaving money on the table. <laughs> My God, these days it is. I know speedrunners use them like crazy to practice, and I totally see why. Because there's parts of speedrunning in games it would take forever to get back to if you weren't doing that. Now, I don't practice games like this with save states off stream or anything like that. I like doing like complete playthroughs of games like this without any save states. So all the practice you guys see for these games is everything kind of like natural how it would have been in like the 90s or something. Yeah, and Q-Dog, that's a good point. See, I was able to do a deathless run of original Contra as well because I played it so much with the 30 lives code as a kid. You played it that much you're going to get pretty proficient with it, even though by a lot of standards, it's a hard game. It really is. And this is room L. This is the worst section of this entire dungeon. And now we're here. And it's because of these goddamn statues. Th these are the problem. You want a problem? You, you got a problem. You got a problem. Can't figure out how to get through these. Can't figure out how to get through them without getting hit. How do you not get hit, dude? How do you just not get hit? How do you not get hit? I'm really frustrated with those statues because I don't know how to deal with them. We're going to take a death here. Unfortunately, there's going to be a death here. Because I don't know how to fight these statues. This is room L, by the way. So we need to just keep going to the right. This is the worst room in the game, by the way. There's gonna be another statue. No pattern, it's all RNG. RNG, RNG death right there. I, I can't do anything about that. I don't know how, unfortunately. All right, give it another shot. Hope for the best this time. But I, I'm just not seeing a pattern. I'm not seeing any type of pattern, I'm seeing random. Divinity, or, or uh, ever played original, uh, no, I have not played that glove. I have absolutely not. Is that an RPG? I might have heard of that. It sounds kind of similar. Contra as hell, I have to learn that game. I admit I beat Super C with Konami Code. I'm not proud of myself. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. You can go back and, and do it without the code. There's always that opportunity. I mean, I, I'd be... The, the, I, now, Super C, I never even played as a kid. 
So I went into that straight up without any kind of code or whatever, and, and I, I got through it. It's not that bad. Only because I played the original Contra like a million times, and it's almost the same game. Very, very similar, and I didn't get health there. That's unfortunate. You know what? This part sucks. RPG somewhere to Baldur's Gate. Oh, I'd enjoy that. I would definitely like that. Worry about a game's difficulty when safe states are provided since it tells me developers that's a lot of mass frustration. That's why they have unlimited continues and super R-type for that exact same reason, because that last level in that game, it's just not well designed. It's just, you're going to die 10 billion times figuring this crap out. So just get used to it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful that time. I don't know if I could do that again, but we just did it really well that time. All right, I'm going to go slow here because everything in their bright mind is going to ambush you in this room. All right, nice. Did well there. The F got better in Super C. The F's freaking awesome in that game. It does so much damage. Like, one shot of that Q-Dog hits like eight times on an enemy. Gaijin, how you doing? Not surprised to see a lot of this last level. It's tough as nails when I last played it a few years ago. Gaijin, so you've played this before too. Do you like this game? I'm really enjoying it. This level's tough. I had to map this out earlier if you were lurking then, but I know exactly where to go, but still, that that's not really going to help sometimes when you're dealing with such powerful enemies. At least the, the, these women walking at you aren't that much of a threat. I know how to deal with those now. It's those statues that cause a problem. Uh, that being uh, anyone who saves state... Uh Save state shames takes video games way too seriously. Do whatever is fun for you. That being said, you can't say you beat a game for you. Save states in the run. I agree with that. I would not consider myself finishing a game like this if I if I stuck a save state on it. Now that's for me personally. If other people want to use save states and beat a game that way, I got no problem with it. None whatsoever. The, 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 they're there. Use them if you want to. I personally don't use them, but that's my choice. That that, that that's, may not be for everybody. Stupid ass statue, man. Come on. It, it, it's random. It's random. Got him. Yes. So after they fire, like, oh, what? What? That hit the wrong enemy. God, these things suck. All right. This is room L. Where are we going? Are we going down or are we not? I don't think we have to. I think we can just keep going to the right. Thank God that room's over. What do you think is the greatest side-scroller of all time? Lunar Quest, welcome in. Greatest side-scroller of all time. That is a very difficult question. That is not an easy question to answer, but I'll attempt to do so. Maybe Castlevania 3? Maybe Castlevania 3, because I adore that game. That's one of my favorite games of all time, and I never even played that as a kid. That was a stream-first game, and I I fell in love with it, like, instantly. I'm going to go with Castlevania 3. That's good enough. I'm going with that. Yeah, you can just run, but I, you'd have to face tank through some hits, Nova, and I really don't want to do that. This is room in. We're going to keep going. Is there going to be an eyeball thing in here? I get the feeling I'm going to get ambushed by the eyeball thing again. That continue. How do you not get hit there, dude? How do you not take a hit there? So stupid. So completely idiotic. All right, this is going to be room O, and then we're going to room P, and then we're going to go down, and then we're going to get to the end. That's the way it works. Holy Diver is a great game. I love that game, but there's a lot of people that absolutely hate it. And I understand why. Holy Diver is not a very well-balanced game. It's got a lot of issues as far as, like, dealing with platforming and knockbacks and all that stuff. But I really am a huge fan of Holy Diver on the NES. And that, so many people hate that game. I Like I said, though, I get it. I totally get it. I don't see how people can like Ocarina of Time more than Holy Diver, but they do, and I'm just going to have to convince myself that that's okay. <laughs> Castlevania 3, Hardest Nails, that's a great choice. That's what I'm rolling with, Seven Castle. I think that's it. I love it. Contra Force, I've never played Thrash. I've heard that's not good. I've heard that's a bad game. This is Room P. This is where we go down, and hopefully this will take us to the exit. 
How did that happen? I didn't even hit it with full power and it died? Well, that was lucky. All right, I think I understand the statues more now. You just have to be more aggressive. This is room P. We're going to drop down here. This is going to be health. This, I think this takes us to the end. I think this is it. This is room Q. Hold up. What do you do here? You go down from room Q. Okay. Holy Diver was not released in America originally. No, it was not. I wish it... Actually, no. I wish it... I'm happy with it not being because I would have hated it. It's got unlimited continues, though, but, I mean, it's it's damn hard game. But that's one of those games that just clicked with me instantly. I loved it from the first time I played it. I wasn't loving it when I made it to stage four the first time. In fact, I was losing my mind. But as far as the quality of the game, I, I think it's good. It, it almost feels like a game that's not quite finished. It could have used some more work. I'm not going to pick that up yet in case this guy hits me. Well, I got it anyway. Yeah, Dio probably would have sued them, Tilty. You're absolutely right. It's, it's funny. It's based on American rock and roll guys like Randy Rhodes and Dio. But it was released in Japan only. I wonder if they even know who that was. That would be an interesting thing to find out. All right, is that, is that enough of these? Okay, this is room Q. We do drop down here. I'm making sure. I don't want to accidentally loop back to the beginning or whatever. All right, let's go down here. I think this is where the boss is. I'm pretty sure. New retro plays you like Holy Diver? It is really good. It's It's got the Castlevania vibes and stuff to it. That's one of the reasons I like it so much. All right, now this guy will be like right here. That is a godforsakenly bad start. That is not the start I was looking for, unfortunately. Health. I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. A little more health there. I don't know how to avoid him when, he, when this is going on. Did that not count, dude? That didn't count. Unbelievable. That hit did not count. I, I clearly hit him with a fully powered shot right there and nothing happened. That's That's sad. That's a little bit sad. All right, is it three or is it four? Need health. Playing like shit. Playing like a little bit of shit right now. All right, I got to charge up. We got a chance to kill this guy. Got him. Took a death there that didn't need one. Crap. They definitely would have sued him for that. There's a lot of references in Holy Diver, the video game, to the, the actual band. And even the song. I mean, come on. It should get a remaster or sequel. It should be completely rebuilt, I agree. It most definitely. Yeah, it came out a lot later. Plabu is absolutely right there. Much later. <laughs> many, many, many years later. And I'm going into the final boss fight without full health. That's really bad. Let's try and stay close to him. Let's see if we can do that. What? What? I'm going to have to get hit here. How do you avoid damage? How do you avoid getting hit by this dude? I have not a clue. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. All right, let's try again. Let's give it another shot. This is a freaky looking... It's like an undead Homer Simpson or something. That's a good start. That's a really good start. Am 
much health does this guy have? Not that much. Not that much. <laughs> Not that much. Dude, I was down to my last hit point. All right, we just rescue what's her name. <laughs> oh, we got him! We got him with no health left. Holy shit, that was way too damn close. <laughs> What is he pointing at? His health is at one. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Okay, that was the final boss. All right, I was right. <laughs> yeah, how could that not have been the final boss? Holy crap. Sergeant Power Glove, what's up? Immune, what's up? Crypt cryptic meta, what's going on? Welcome in. We got him. Really cool game. I wonder if there is a loop, too. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, yeah, and Axeman gets Purple Woman. I know, that's who that is, Purple Woman. <laughs> Neon Magenta, I know. Thank you, Kremit. You never come close to beating this game. Dude, you could beat it. It's a good game. Go back and play it. Jax, I see what you're saying about the difficulty. It's hard. Totally get it. You only needed 4.5 hours. <laughs> I felt like it could have been longer, honestly. Here, here's what got us through the game. Drawing this map out of what room went where is the only way I would have made it through this. I, if you're just randomly guessing, I don't think that would have made it. But that's why we were able to beat the game, was this little map I drew to get through that dungeon. That worked pretty dang well. Look at my health! I've still got one hit point left. We don't have any more moments this month, Monica. I've run out. You can only do four a month. That's on. Maybe they'll increase that in the future. Are we doing loop two? Is there a loop two? I'm hitting start. There is no loop two. Okay, that's the end of it. That, that's unfortunate. I would have done it. Was that a, a one credit clear? Guys, did I just realize... Did we just get a one credit clear? Did I use a continue? I don't even remember. <laughs> that might have been a one credit clear run, and I'm not even sure because I wasn't thinking about that. No loop two. It just went back to the beginning. Throwed Genji. What's up, man? Welcome in. I think we got a one credit clear. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look, but I'm not sure. This is not loop two, by the way. This is the demo. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. It's not happening. I don't know what's going on, but uh, th there is no loop two, unfortunately. Yeah, that just beat the game. It's over. It's over. We beat it. All done. Good game, though. Really good game. Now a good game like Bump and Jump? That's a bad game. That's a really stupid, awful, rotten, silly game. Actually, it's not that bad. It's just too long, Rush. Yeah, but we're done. That's it. We are done. Good game. Legendary Axe. You know what we could do? Guess what we could do? We could do a no axe upgrade run. That's impossible. That's impossible. This game's b built to be used with the axes and stuff. Good game like Beetlejuice? Not quite. Not quite. Super cozy chill game next. Not sure what we're playing tomorrow. We'll be playing something. Yeah, this was the first day I played this. We got it in four and a half hours. And like I said, only because I drew out a map of the maze. Otherwise, we'd still be in there right now because the, the maze makes you go backwards a bunch. Not playing R-Type. Nope. Already done. Well, we could play R-Type on the arcade. I've never done that. A no-axe upgrade run. That actually does sound impossible, doesn't it, Jax? It's not like Ninja Gaiden where you can do like a uh, sword only or something. I don't think this game you could pull off that type of challenge with. I could be wrong, but it just doesn't seem doable at all. None whatsoever. But let's, uh, let's go on a raid. I think this is a good time to call it today. I don't have time to start anything else new. So uh, let's go ahead and end it. Let's end it. Who should we raid today? Let's find somebody to raid. I always like to try and find people that my times don't crisscross with too often. It's fun to find a, a new raid target, which is usually pretty rare because I'm on pretty much the same times every day. Let's raid Ash Said Hi. I don't think I've ever gotten to raid her before because she normally comes on later. And she's playing a computer RPG I played as a kid. Perfect. Might and Magic 3. Isles of Terra. I had that as a kid. I beat it. It was damn hard, too. <laughs> Guys, thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Here is the Discord channel if you ever want to join join us in there. But thank you for hanging out. I had a freaking blast. This is a good game. This is my kind of game. Get better, get good, learn how it works, deal with the deal with the limited continues, get good, you'll get through it. 
my kind of game right here. I'm fine with limited continues if the game's fair. This is a fair game. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. I had a freaking blast. But I'll be back tomorrow with something. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it'll be something, hopefully. So hopefully a good game. You never know, though. You never know. Might end up picking something I hate. It wouldn't be the first time. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take care, be safe, and uh, see you later. Have a good one.